All right, Big Bang, today is Monday. It's August 8th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barcelona Sports. It's Snake Draft Monday. Our guest is a second time guest. It is Will Compton. He's in the garage. He's by the bus. Will, welcome back. How are you? Boys, thanks for having me back. I know the first time, like, I was kind of like on a vacation. It was very last minute. There was, I was sitting by the elevator. People were coming in and out. It was very distracting. I had zero time to prepare on the whole bar game and the backyard game. So I'm I'm very happy to have a second opportunity back on the show. Well, with everything going against you, being on vacation, the effort was A+. plus. I thought you brought your best effort on that snake draft, given the circumstances. And, yeah, you're a great guest. We're happy to have you back. You guys know the effort's always going to be there with the boy. Lunch pail, hard hat, like first in, last out, all the intangible shit. Team guy, glue guy. That's probably yeah. my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite stories besides the uh, Jerry Thornton, Jersey Jerry mix-up was – Will thought he was hopping on to talk about the draft because the NFL draft oh, yeah. was in a week. <laughs> so he's like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm on vacation. No problem. I'll hop on with you guys. I'll talk NFL draft for 15 minutes. Next thing you know, this guy's got a towel draped over yeah. him in front of the elevator for an hour and a half holding his phone. And I, honestly, I felt so he's bad like, about it. Let me it tell since. you guys about lawn darts. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was backyard games, wasn't it? Wasn't that the topic? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like a backyard game, a bar game yeah. that we argued about something else, like all that shit yeah, yeah that was exactly. good that was a good time it was a good time there he is there's Paul. um <laughs> there send us is. an invoice for that vacation time lost yeah, he should. He should. i felt so bad about it since i was like will we got to get you again but i do not want you to be on vacation so i'm happy you're not now he's just always working yeah mm -hmm. even though you are going to packers oh. camp soon right yeah, we're going on uh, – we fly in Thursday, we record on Friday, and then we'll be back on Saturday. I'll well, give Aaron our best. Yeah, or our worst. I will. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably have a good a couple good questions about, you know, Big Cat. A lot of the – there's a lot of rivalry between Aaron Rodgers and the Barstool Sports, and it's all about bridging that gap. Mm. I, I'm fine if it's not bridged, Yeah, for the record. Okay. Yeah, he can stay on the other <laughs> side of that bridge. How do you temper, just out of curiosity, your competitiveness if you're doing content and you're, like, at the Green Bay Packers facility? Like, there has to be part of you. Like, you're too much of a football meathead to not have that part of you that's like, I'm a good linebacker. I, I belong in here. Like, does that come up to you? Like, it might be in my head, but as I'm standing out and feeling the humidity and the heat from the sun, like, there's zero part of me that I want to be like, oh, let me get some pads on and get out there. It's more so from the eye of, like, I'll watch guys and be like, oh, I'm better than this fucking guy. But then that's about it because, dude, training camp is a different animal. It's like 6 a.m. to 9 at night. You're trying to get naps in. You're trying to figure out ways how you can rub one out before you go to bed and watch <laughs> film and everything in between, dude. Like, camp's a grind, so – I finessed it the last four years. How many total which I'm did very you do? Proud of. I've done a total of six training camps. Was, was there ever one where you're like, yeah, this is fun? Uh, yeah, when we would go to Richmond, when I played in Washington, okay. we would go to Richmond and stay in the Omni Hotel, but Richmond's like two and a half hours away. Kind of a small town vibe, like that city vibe. Only a couple watering holes that you would go to. So on off days, like whenever you got done with that practice, like everybody knew coaching staff, scouting department, players were all fucking partying on rooftops and stuff. Like Richmond was a vibe. Like th those okay. are always fun, but it's you know obviously the humidity and everything else is grind is grimy. But that that was probably my most fun camp. Okay, I was wondering if there was like a little bit of like ah we're doing it with the boys. Yeah. Like it sucks, but we're doing it because they're like Band you know of like all we ever did was like high school football. And, like, that sucked, but then there was a part of it, and we were like, ah, it was all right. Yeah, there's there's, there's no question that, like, training camp's going on now, and I tell all the boys to enjoy it and stuff like that. Like, it's – I don't know. I guess there's, like, a separation I have from it now, but it's like I know I'll never get those training camp, uh, like, moments back to where you're kind of embracing the suck altogether. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're ready to just grind it out, get better, watch film, do all this stuff. Like it's a performance based game. Like it's a business at the end of the day, every day you're getting coached on fucking how you move, how you do absolutely everything. Like right, why are you loafing here? It's like, Oh, this is my eighth planner role. It's fucking hot as shit. You guys can't hear the whistles or understand what the energy is at that time. Cause the screen is quiet. But, uh, and then you, it's all about going to the cafeteria table, like sitting down at the table and, kind of like complaining with all the boys and talking shit on the coaches and Fuck yeah, you know, talking about how your situation might suck more than somebody else's like those are the greatest times of all yeah. time. Yeah. All right, good. That's kind of that's kind of what I wanted to hear. 
So you deliver. Yeah, I like, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But it, it sucks that it like really doesn't exist in a lot of instances anymore. Like they just do it at their facility and like yeah. they're not holed up at a fucking like you said, the rich like dorm rooms. Yeah, yeah. that like, kind of blows. That's I agree. Like the, the Bears going to Bourbon A. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree because uh, the Titans, when it'd be right here at the same facility, we'd be in the entire year. And there's just an element of like, you're not like, you're not like out somewhere together with the team and building and everything else. Yeah. Like, Vrabe, like you'd stay in a hotel literally right down the road. You're in the same city. You already know that same road you drive every day. So there was like that element of already being in it. But yeah, dude, those Richmond times were something about <sighs> being off campus in a bubble with yeah. just the guys where it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, uh, we appreciate the training camp talk, but we're not here to talk training camp. We're here to talk pizza, mm -hmm. which is more up our alley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, yeah. Don't yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. what the questions do you have for us about pizza? <laughs> 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 we're, the, we're the guys that's going to answer the pizza questions. Yeah, um, I'm all I'm all with it. I love the food takes. Yeah, I've been seeing that you, you've been getting off your burger takes. I know you you're like not that hot or cold about in and out and you like to rile the people up. So I think I'm going to be uh, I think we got a spot here with the pizza. I also have noticed that Will Compton and I are aligned on many of our food takes. Oh, yeah, really? Ooh, yeah. Let's go. So I like let's that. Go. I like that. We'll see. Um, before we get going, though, we don't know the results of the uh, the letter draft. So I we can't give you a winner. Um, great draft though. I yeah, had fun. Yeah, it was fun. Boys, it fun. I, agree with I mean, it's just such a. It's it's why the draft exists to have arguments and and thorough discourse about such Obscure. inconsequential, yeah, and Bullshit. like meaningless. <laughs> yep. I mean, really meaningless stuff yep. here. So a hundred minutes on letters. Can't beat it. You guys did a you guys did a letter draft, an like alphabet AP draft, all the way through. Oh state? yeah, 20, oh, 25, okay. 25 picks. Which one do you think got left off? Will Compton. Which one would you leave off? Man, of all the letters in the alphabet, 20, how many other 26? <laughs> There's 26, <Yeah>. Will. <laughs> you better I answer would this say correctly. You leave off, I think V. Oh, That's okay. a good one to leave off, too. I, would, I could see leaving off V. What does V need for? V made the cut. Who's got V? Uh, Who? Dave did. did I draft V? No, I hope you did. No. Well, you started I mean, Y E Q. <laughs> no, he did. He drafted V in the fifth round. You went B V. Yeah, you drafted right. oh, yeah. Y E Q B V. Uh, it was it was an interesting draft. Well, pizza. What does pizza mean to you? Everything. Because you're not from Absolutely good pizza places. Like you're not a you're not like a from a traditional pizza background. Oh. What does that mean? I mean, you know, like Nebraska guy, you know. Okay, I, what I've been in one state my entire fucking life. No, I'm just Carl. saying, like, like Nebraska guy, journeyman. Like, I don't, I don't look at you and think pizza. Carl just calls you uncultured. That's, How do you feel about that? Are you okay. from St. Louis? This, St. Louis has got pretty decent uh, an pizza. Hour, yeah, an hour south of St. Louis, and and. Carl, have you ever been outside of Chicago? Like, how'd you grow up? Just a couple times. I'm not, not. I don't like to leave Chicago. Um, this isn't about like Chicago pizza versus that pizza. I'm not saying I'm a pizza expert. I'm just saying when I look at Will Compton. And I think of Will Compton. A lot of things come to mind, none of which is pizza. Okay, well, there's a key word that you kind of like lost yourself a little bit. You said I'm a journeyman. Like I've been around the U.S. I've experienced a lot of different – my palate has touched a lot of different pizzas. So I would think that I kind of have an advantage in this draft because I can kind of talk – I can kind of talk shop with the best of them. Mm -hmm. Like you, you know, again, I know you don't want to make this about Chicago pizza and everything else. I'm sure we will get to that point. Um, but if you've never really left, it's like my grandpa. He never really left his small town at all. I think for my dad's wedding is the only time. Like you're not a very well versed cat. You might like live and die on a couple of hills, which I respect. You gotta like live for something or die, whatever the saying is. But uh, I I'm excited about this draft, and I think you'll eat your fucking words. No, I'm just saying I I think it's important for the audience to understand this. Like you're qual in your eyes, you're qualified to do this draft. Absolutely, okay. yes, mm -hmm. maybe the most. And uh, people are going to – people, like, Chief brought it up. He's like, well, shouldn't we do this one with Dave? I'm like, well, Dave's like he, – he eats it all cheese, and he probably doesn't have much appreciation for chains and whatnot. So I think Will's a perfect guest for this one. I'm happy to I'm happy it's to do it. It's all about the camaraderie yeah. with the guests anyways. Exactly. Now, I should – I want to warn you, vibes on this side of the, of the Zoom are low. We got, we got angry people. We got people with some pent-up frustration. So – 
If if you get some over what? What's the what's the what's uh, like the deal? A million different things that we don't have to get into. But Dave's a little ornery. I'm a little ornery. <laughs> I today. wasn't ornery until I got to the office today, and then I'm sitting here on my computer, and there's conversation going across me that, and I like I was pissed off after one thing that happened at the office, but hearing them talk, it just like gasoline to the fire. And it just made me pissed off. But now we're snake drafting things, yeah. and I'm happy to get I'm in an okay mood, Will, if you were wondering. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm happy. You always, Eddie, you always do seem even keel. Like, Dave's sitting there, and, uh, you know, he hadn't really said a whole lot. I'm like, you know, what's what's the vibe? What's the vibe <laughs> in here? But I'm glad you guys have been transparent. You know, there's some stuff going on in-house. But yeah. I hope you can It's not about you. That that's what I want to say. It's like, not about you, and it's not about pizza. If you get and it, it's if, not if, even an internal conflict. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's no. This is about other it's stuff. It's other shit. So I'm just saying if, you know, something comes at you and it feels a little personal, apologies in advance. It's not about you. <laughs> it, it's about what's going on on this side of it. Okay, okay, I can't wait for some projecting and a little bit of friction. Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah, a little bit of grace from you would be nice today because we're having a time. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, the subcategories are you get two toppings. Question on that. Do you draft them together? No, no. So you draft them separate? Yep, exactly. Okay. And it Look doesn't, at that, Eddie. Yes. The, you, we all had the Look same question. Look at that, Eddie. We all had the Before same you question. disrespected me last night, that's a very valid question. Because I get valid. the same two things valid. on every pizza. Yeah, but it's so you. But don't think of it that way. Just be like, I'm getting two toppings. It's not a combination pizza. Okay. Because some shit might not make sense. You're yep. just getting two toppings. Okay. Two toppings. I do. I would love to clarify too. Like, this isn't like we're ordering a single topping pizza. We're just we're saying what ingredients we believe belong on a pizza. Correct. Correct. We're prioritizing. Correct. Okay. Because making a combination would probably be too hard. Um. So you're right. Uh, the second thing, you will be able to get a chain. The only uh, stipulation was it had to be over 200 locations, similar to the sit-down chain restaurant one. Um, next one is frozen. You get a frozen pizza. And then the last one is style. So self-explanatory. There are certain styles of pizza. Like geographically based is what kind of... Is that what you're saying? I think that would count too for it's the like most the part. Pizza, there like is the gonna pizza be... is different. So like, I'm gonna take this style of pizza. Uh, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Okay. There will. There probably is. Hang on. Be... Hang on. Hang on. There's there's some gray area, and I know we don't want to like show our hand, try and say something down the list, but are we talking? geographically like you that's know, how i took he it. mentioned i'm from st louis if i'm like uh, st louis pizza like are we talking styles like that are we trying to say like that's cheese was on a ritz crust, cracker blah, right blah, blah, blah. yep i think you would be able to Dude, draft that <laughs> uh-huh yes <laughs> It's not personal. Yeah, it's I not think personal. that. So I think that that I, definitely. No, it's not personal. I see. I understand you watched my Dave Portnoy video and he called it a cracker pizza. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But I that, think that's exact. Like. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. We're yeah. About. The only rule is, well, it was before the show, so it's not your fault. Is we can't uh, tip picks, so we can't name anything that someone might draft in the future. Does that make sense? That's okay. Yeah. So what of those did I say that was like? The St. Louis style. You just style. said St. Louis. But that's fine. St. Louis style. Yeah. As so an like, example. Like, I, I know okay. there's a style that I'm from, but I'm not going to say it. You Correct. know? I'm not going to say it because right. it's draftable. I don't want someone to get it. Got you. you know? I understand. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of rules here. <laughs> People take this serious. Um, but all right. Let's find out the order. Uh, Will, our, uh, our producer, Harry, over there has number one through five behind his back. What number is it? Why don't the guests get to go first? Well, you, well, because you determine your order. If you pick the right number, then you get to pick your draft spot. If you don't want to be in the one spot, you could be in the three spot, the five spot, whatever. Yeah, there's a little strategy on where you draft. Yeah. Yeah. I just said, uh, you know, go ahead. No, well, what you do, what do you want to You want to be more accommodated. Yeah. So what number do you think it is, one through five? I just, what do you mean? Like I try and choose the number? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, I yeah, 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 behind his back. Yeah, yeah correct. Um, four. No. Carl. Three. No. Two. Yes. <laughs> I'll take the third spot. One or one through four. White Sox. Dave. One. Yes. I'll go two. Um, one through three to me. I'm gonna take uh, two. No. Will. Three. Yes. So you get one, four, or five? Yeah, I want one. Wow. First overall. 
No fucking worry. All right, one or two, Carl. Two. Yes. Uh, I'll take the fourth over. All right, I got five. All right, so the order is Will, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Carl, Eddie. And uh, as, of course, always, when you listen to a snake draft, before we kick it off here, I do want to talk about our sponsors for this show. And the first one we're talking about is Game Time here. Game Time is the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score deals on last-minute tickets, and you can find MLB tickets for under $15 all in on Game Time. Yankees tickets as low as $14, Red Sox 14 Mets 13, Braves 14, Cubs 12, whatever it is, you name your team, Game Time has the hookup on deals for you to get out to the ballpark. And the best part is you get $20 off your first purchase. Download Game Time, uh, go to the account tab, create a login and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Download Game Time, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Go do it. A lot of uh, a lot of baseball baseball season is about to be heating up, so there's no reason not to check it out and uh, grab your NFL tickets as well. So go check out that Game Time app. Use code Dog Walk. All right, here we go. Here's the uh, pizza draft. All right, Will. Without further ado, you're on the clock. The first overall pick. How long do we have? Uh, you could. I mean. We'll set a time. I mean, uh, we've pretend never. you're standing in a hotel lobby and you got shitty service and, like, we don't have all day. <laughs> <laughs> so Carl's in the worst mood out of everything. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, this is how it goes. That was a, uh, uh, that go. was a good salty joke, buddy. Okay, that was my a good first, little. My first overall pick is going to be New York-style pizza. Um, I thought it was very important to attack – uh, the style as quickly as I could, given the the limited options that are actually out there that are worth the shit. I think that's going. I, how is that going to be received? White Sox, Dave. Actually, I want to give you the floor first. So I've had John's Bleaker. Uh, I thought it was excellent. Now, I don't want to tip picks here, but the I've had a few of the best Boston places as well. I think they're pretty much the exact same style. Am I wrong in saying that? I don't know. Yeah, they're the exact same so things to me. So you're I, saying Boston style and New York style are the exact same? The, so I've had John's Bleaker and I've had uh, fucking what's it called? The one that the one that Portnoy reviewed with uh, Julian Edelman. Yeah, San San Tarpios. San Tarpios. and yeah. it was outstanding pizza. Both were outstanding pizzas. I didn't think there was any difference in the exact style of pizza between each. I actually preferred the San Tarpios more than John's Bleaker by a hair. But um, I think it's like Northeast style more than New York style. Is that safe? No, to say? no I think York, they're different. Yeah, I think they're. Okay. Di- I think, in my opinion, I mean, I, you did just name it, even though I said we weren't gonna. Mm. But I think that style is more airy and more more. Like, yeah. In New York, has a little like, more of a crunch. Yeah. I'm what is New York? Side with, I'm gonna side with Dave and just claim the entire Northeast. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you would love to do that. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I I think that there's a difference. I, I agree. He yeah. would know more than more than us for sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm wrong, but that's fine. Um, How would you define New York pizza to a so, stranger? It's so different, though. To to answer your question, sorry, Chicago style, which is my draft pick, so I'm using that. Uh, so it's not tipping a pick. Fair. And um, New York style are so different. Like, I don't even like comparing them. Like, John's a bleaker, unbelievably good pizza. It's so much different than, like, our best pizza out here that it's like, they're both pizzas, but it's just preference at that point, you know? Yeah. That's a, that's a fair assessment. Some people like deep dish. Some people like that. Yeah, it's weird. I, I'm with uh, Carl. Like, how do you actually define or explain New York style pizza, like, I don't know. To me, like it's the New York style cheese. is what every kind of every kind of pizza is is developed kind of around the New York style concept. I feel like, yeah, like frozen pizzas and everything else is kind of not saying that they're the same. But do you guys get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I do. Like there, there's like the one that I'm going to take is very similar, but I think it's better. And there's like differences in the crust, and there's differences in um, you know different the amount of cheese and things like that. So I think that there are differences between new york and other thin crust i would say it's a i would say it's to me new york is the thinnest thin crust and like that's kind of one of Ooh, the see, i disagree no 
I disagree. Yeah, yeah, you disagree. I, mean, I, mean, I would we disagree too. We literally, we literally talked about St. Louis earlier. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. yeah. Guys, yeah, it's we're, right. now we're the clock. We're, off we're the in yeah. competition. Yeah. We're <laughs> under competition yeah. right now. I like. I don't. Oh, huh. I want to get back. Like, let's just f- ab- talk about New York pizza for a second yes. without talking about yes. a- every other style of pizza. We could just talk Thank about you. New York style pizza. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's a big yeah. slice. So that to me, it's 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 oversized. Uh, I think there's something about the fact that you can buy a single slice that then like gives it a little juice where it's like, yeah, it's New York. Like even if I'm in Chicago and there's a place that's selling pizza by the slice, you don't I get. still think that that's a little bit of like a New York thing. Like I, Definitely. No matter what. Yep. Uh, and then the other thing too, we say thin, but it's, it's more about like the uniformity of how thin it is. Like it, it's usually just like a really, um, you know, not really necessarily a raised crust. Mm-hmm kind of floppy you know you, we've obviously seen the the, the reviews, new york flop right we yeah obviously see the, the reviews and you understand that branding mm-hmm. but uh you know it when you see it yeah you know new york there, pizza when you see it can i give you uh what, what the internet would say about yeah, definition absolutely. it says uh for the most part new york style pizzas are built upon a quick rise dough to form a foldable crust the fold is a major hallmark of the style and i would agree with that like you hold it and you kind yeah. of pinch it yeah um that the fold is a is a major hallmark of the style. Some say that if a slice doesn't fold, it isn't truly a New York slice. In fact, the New York slice is so uh, collapsible that Tony Monero managed to stack two of those bad boys together and fold them while strutting down 86 degrees. So whatever that fucking last part of that paragraph means, I don't know. But that is uh, the fold. I think is is key. I don't know if cornmeal at the bottom is. On everyone, but I'm not a big cornmeal guy. Uh, oh, uh, I like it. I yeah. think that's more what Dave's pick is the Chicago. I feel like cornmeal is a bigger Chicago thing. I don't think so at all. Def- definitely. Do you think so? I, I don't know what you're no, talking about. not at all. Cornmeal on Chicago pizza at the bottom? What's all the little grainy shit on, underneath the pizza? That's cornmeal. That's, I don't, I can't tell you one place that does that. <laughs> they... Well, just order pizza. I know pizza. what you're saying, though. I order hey, pizza, I pizza like weekly. About that, gra- that grainy vibe. At yeah, the is that yeah, not cornmeal? Yeah, yeah, the sand. You yeah. like the sand, Will? You like Isn't the that cornmeal? Yeah. I'm not a big deep. I'm not a big Chicago style guy. I'm just not. I feel like at some point you got to eat it with silverware. Well, are well, you here's the thing, Will. Here's the thing, Will. I don't know the rails. I'm trying to rein it in, Carl. I don't know. I don't know how to rein it. I'm getting like anxious. I have no clue where we are Here's the thing, Will. You're taking. He's taking Chicago thin crust. I'm taking Chicago thin crust, which is what Chicago people. And I'm not saying Chicago wins. I'm saying Chicago land people. If you grew up in the area, lived in the area for any amount of time, 99 percent of the time you order pizza in here. <laughs> and in this metro area, you're ordering thin crust, deep dish. I would say it's kind of on the tourist part of the spectrum, which is fine. It's excellent in its own right. Chicago style thin crust is my favorite style of pizza, especially if you order from like one of the better places. I got a few places on the north side. It's a treat if I make it to the far south side to get my favorite south side places. But Chicago, it's like it's razor thin. It it's in the little squares. I know you got them down in St. Louis. We already tipped that pick. It's fine. I love it. I prefer it over New York style pizza all day, every day. I know there's bias involved, um, but it's what I grew up on. If you put an else pizza in front of my p- face. And John's a bleaker. I'm 100% blindly picking the Alice Pizza 10 times out of 10. Can you look at something for me? Yeah. That's cornmeal, is it not? Yeah, where's that from? I don't, it's a Chicago thin crust pizza. Do you, uh, Will, have you had uh, Chicago thin crust with the in the squares? No, I haven't. I, the way he explained it, I would love to try it. I, I you know, I, I felt sort of like I know he wasn't trying to slight me, but a, a little bit of the tourist jab. And ultimately, I think if you look up Chicago style pizza, like the facts of the matter is like they're they're known as their deep dish style pizza. Now you your boots on the ground. I would say you as a young pioneer in this game, you need to change the narrative a little bit if you're going to welcome I've everybody tried with to. open arms saying, hey, that that has been a long standing. It's, it's not office. necessarily a tourist thing, but like if I had friends from New York, they want to go to Lou Malnati's and it's like, all right, you got to get the deep dish, you know. But if it were yeah. up to me and I'd be like, no, this is what you should actually try, it would be a thin crust spot. Like, so I, I haven't just, ordered yeah. deep dish on my own in years. Couldn't even maybe tell you. you're just time. against the, sh- sh- the Chicago style. Like, you know, I know you're Chicago. I know guy, we have two styles, though, that are widely different from and each other. And our, our thin crust is, like, very unique to Chicago, too. It is definitely a thing. 
You so you're do you like Dave's pick? I don't. You're not a huge fan of Chicago style, right? I, I mean, I, like that pizza that he references in Al's, it's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Like I, you know, like I, we made the trek back when we were at the casino, right? Mm-hmm. Is that when we stopped? You meet Tom and somebody. I think Dante was there. And Dante, yeah. And for me, it lived up to the hype. I think that was probably the best thing. What's the timeout? I was just uh, so when this draft comes out. Does he need to go on the list as Chicago style thin crust? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Thinking about the graphic early, we like, I that. like that. That's yeah. the competitive nature in Will <laughs> yeah. Compton. I like that. Yeah. I just live in the details, boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I like it. I, you know, I eat it often because. And, and to go back to your cornmeal thing, there definitely on some of it, there is a little cornmeal, but it's nowhere near some of those ones in New York where you could really like, like you feel it on your plate and you see it after. It looks like you just dragged it through sand a little bit. So that's how it's it, way I, more prevalent in New York. Pizza, uh, for sure. I don't. And uh, not. And the thing is, it's not an all New York pizza. Yeah. It's I, not. I feel like it's, it's more variations. universal here. Like when you dump out, like you can't tilt. Like if you get a pizza delivered and the box is empty, you can't tilt. That Chicago yeah, style thin crust. Some with, of them. Yeah, yeah, it just I, I slides should, out all over the floor. Back. Yeah. Um, but regardless, just to say, the first two picks, New York style is obviously a very worthy 1 1. It's probably the most popular one. Probably the most favored one, also. And then obviously, I'm not surprised Dave took Chicago style thin number two. That that's, doesn't stop from being a bad pick. Though. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's a bad pick because there's, there's like comparable value to go. Style to style, back to back. Like Dave can, I think thin Chicago thin crust value is available later in the round. I would agree. We'll get more to the strategy uh, with my I pick. Agree. I would like to point well, this Chief, out about Chief Chicago. I yeah, know. I, mm-hmm. I just want to point this out about Chicago thin before we get out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but traditionally, right, it's cut tavern style yep. in mm-hmm. small squares. I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever gotten a Chicago Thin and you ask for pie cut, it's like a complete. I know it's the same oh, pizza. Yeah. Is it's it better so, or worse? It's just weird. Yeah, like when weird. Barocco's would do their like sell it by the slice in high school or something, or you'd go to the football game. And they're like, yeah, you get a. It's like, do we yeah. get those in the little squares? But they'll sell them by the by the pie slice. There's just something where it doesn't translate. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I think it should be recognized when you talk about Chicago Thin crust. It like it has to be cut tavern style too. And. The, this, I don't know if this is a positive or negative about the Chicago pizza argument. There are certain slices that are just way better than other slices on the same from the same. Yeah, pizza. It's a, uh, the sub arguments within yeah. that are great. So, uh, uh, sorry, I'm getting long in the tooth. Where, here. where a like? New York one, where a New York one is like, no matter where, what slice you pull out, they're all going to be the same. Yeah. Chicago is like, well, if you have like that one weird one in the middle, like yeah, it's bad not, pull. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so many people are going to be fucking just calling us dumbasses. Well, we are. So, um, Chief, you're up. I, I, I'm nervous about what to do here because I feel like I'm the guy sitting there in like the pick 18 and there's been a run on receivers, and I yeah. always lo- get sucked into that draft, but I don't want to miss what I think is the best style. I know what you want. I want I, New Haven yeah, style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so New Haven style, similar to New York. I think that it's a little bit more airy, especially on the crust. Uh, cheese is probably a little bit lighter. Uh, but maybe more spread out than a traditional New York slice. I think New Haven is like the capital for pizza in the world. We went out there last summer. Uh, Ed, you you and Tom made, made a special like pilgrimage to uh, Frank Pepe's and the Sally's. Mm-hmm. And like those, those are like elite, elite pizzas. And I think that you can probably get, a, you, can, you can get bad slices in New York. I think it's almost impossible to get a bad slice in New Haven. So I'm going with uh, New Haven style pizza. So New Haven style, I've never had it, but it's one of the only pizzas that Port- Portnoy reviewed where I was like, holy shit, I have to try that pizza before I die. Because it just, like, it looks awesome. Let's go next week. I uh, will we'll work on that, yes. Yeah. It's very good. There's something really cool about the fact that it's just out there. Like, I, like, I don't know how to – it's not just a food thing. There's, like, this cultural thing where you're like, oh, you want that, whatever it is. You have to go to this specific place in the whole United States of America. Yeah, can I give it a con? Sure. I don't like how they cut it. What do you it's mean? It's like there's no oh, fucking rhyme thin. or reason. Yeah. It's just like they just like hack it away. And then you have some slices that yes. are like like uh, two inches wide. Yes. And, and then other some, ones that yes. are like your more traditional New York size. Yeah. It, it, that's that's a fair criticism. Thank you. Have you ever had it, Will? I have not. I read about it earlier, and it did seem like a nice. It did seem like a good pizza. So, it's nice to hear everybody the positive things that you guys are saying about it. Yeah, yeah. 
it's Wor- uh, worth it next time you're out if you're taking that bus around and you stop over in like jets camp it might be worth like a four-hour drive to uh to get to new haven that's good stuff <laughs> okay um all right carl you're up and i will say new haven pizza is one of those things i'd never want to argue about people are so crazy like that's one of those arguments people are so crazy you get yeah. into an argument about like oh new haven pizza you can do the my favorite, but it, like if it's the best, I feel like the people who stand for New Haven will like grab their pitchforks and will not lay down until that fight is won. You know, and you know what's weird is <laughs> that there's just certain things about that you just can't replicate in other places. Like we've talked about bagels here are just not as good as the ones in in New York. They kind just, of stink at. It's like it's shocking, and you think it's a dough and water. You should be able to make a fucking bagel yeah. anywhere, but you can't. And it's the same thing that there's a pizza place in Chicago that I think is fine. I think they, they do a decent job at it. They and they, but they brand themselves as a new. Ha- I don't want to say their yeah. name and shit on them, but they brand themselves as a New Haven style pizza, and it just doesn't. Yeah, I like that not, place. Though. It's good, yeah. but it's not at that level. I get what you're, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, Carl. Um, okay, so I would like to point out a criticism. I think three of the same picks in a row to start a categorized draft is just <laughs> guys. We didn't just start doing this. It's crazy, but. To your point, it's something you want. You like New Haven. I don't think it would have got past Eddie. There are other, you know, like, I, I think Eddie would have taken it. Ed, I think this is a good time for you to comment on whether or not New Haven was on your board. New Haven was definitely on my board. Yeah. I do not think I would have taken it just because of how many have gone already. In five or six? Maybe. maybe. That's uh, what I mean. I don't, I don't think it's looping don't, back to me. But I knew it wouldn't have got back to me, so maybe I would have re-strategized. So. Yeah. But I didn't plan on it. You okay. could have had New Haven in the third round, which would have looked good, Chief. Yeah. Regardless, yeah. it's a good pick. I know. I just it, yeah, it's just it's a fair, good opportunity yeah. to take a step back. Mm-hmm. I know we're talking pizza, but the strategy yeah. was, it was really where my heart lies. And I yes. do, I do get suckered into the runs. Like I, I get like I've done that many. I that sunk my ESPN draft. Is like I got to get a show, and mm-hmm. then I took like baseball tonight. I'm like you yeah. idiot. Mm-hmm. I should have gone a different direction. But anyways, Carl. You know, uh, Chief, don't even hey, don't even worry about it. Like. Carl's playing his game. You're playing your game. Yep. You made a decision based on See? what you thought was best for like football this team. Go. Yep. Uh, Carl can he can play his own game. What do you got, Carl? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go to a new category, uh, which would have been any other category, <laughs> and that's the frozen category. I I think there's two really good frozens that you can get by on, and then after that, I think you're you're in an all out drag down, like just a total fist fight. And then to me, there's a difference between one and two, and, and one is home run in. The home run in Frozen, and, and even if that's just a Midwest Chicago thing, Will, if you never touch it, doesn't bother me. The people who have put their lips on home run in will know unequivocally that it's the best Frozen pizza, and I have to honor how much better it is than the others. And i got to take it in the first round, home run in. I love it. <laughs> home run in is great Frozen pizza. What's it cost now? Because it's a hey, fucking inflation. Why, why, what are you giggling at? What fucking, does that mean? You got chains on. What are you laughing about, Will? No, dude. Like, it, it's like uh, that's a Bill Belichick draft pick right there. That's like somebody who's probably value that you can get anywhere in the draft, but it's for some reason you're going to go top two rounds with this pick that you really believe in. <laughs> like you said, anybody who's put lips on it, they probably know. I'm not going to discredit you on that, but that could be a very small population. And when you're going in these high rounds, population is an is like an intangible thing that you just can't coach until until it gets going. So I think like. That would have been there. The, what you just discredited Chief for on taking something that's going to be in the later rounds, True. I think you just did that. However, the, the only like uh, uh, rebuttal to that is that uh, the home running people would be very, very happy to see it as a first rounder. The New Haven people got up today and they were like, "We're a first rounder." There's no pride, you know. If you win the Brother, champion, if you don't win the championship, it's a failed season. The home run in people. They're gonna get up. They're gonna see the first round, and they're gonna rally around that. And they're they're gonna find <laughs> like a source of like let's fucking go. We're a first rounder. We're in New Haven again. Yeah, Chicago thin. I mean that's part of your DNA of New Haven is being a first rounder. Yeah, my small town would have loved seeing me get drafted in the first round too. So <laughs> you know, those home run in people are gonna be fired up. <laughs> Man, would you – all right, you're getting in a fight. Would you take, like, 10 of your guys from the small town or would you take some, like, some pussies from Chicago? You got your guys, right? You want to go into battle with your guys. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying 10 of, 10 of my best guys in, yeah. in my small town or yeah. 10 pussies in Chicago? I don't know, man. Just fucking work with me here, all right? <laughs> yeah. It's not about strength and numbers. It's about strength and passion. 
No, I, I do. Uh, I do always appreciate that about you. But that's why I couldn't wait to do this draft. That's why I couldn't wait to do this draft <laughs> because I knew we were going to banter back and forth. He literally said that he's like, "I want Carl's ass." Like he was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, he was <laughs> ready." Dude, right. Last time, Will I and I, I don't know that. if this got on the pre-show. Last time, Will and I got together, we. You know, we did some damage at McSorley's. We chopped it up. We strategized. Yep. I gave you, like, you know, some busting in the boys. Like, this is what I think. You and this fired way. me up. Yeah. You fired me up, dude. Like, we had, like, a real heart-to-heart about, like, yo, being content. Like, I really think this is cool what you're doing. Some, here's here's yeah. my vision. Uh, we bonded. That's why I'm comfortable telling you you can suck my dick because I'm going to beat you in this draft, Will. <laughs> <laughs> the body craves contact, and Will's not in camp right now, and he's just he's just out for blood any way he can get it, and mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt. Um, all right, Homer and In's awesome, by the way. Thank you. It was my number one it was my frozen number one pizza too. on the yep. board. Um, so I wasn't going to say that. Is that, but, is that a regional know. thing? I don't know. I, I think they're starting to get bigger, but they are definitely yeah more of a regional. Based. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know like what other region you regional frozen in. pizzas there are. But we wouldn't, think. and we wouldn't. You know, right. right? Yeah, right. we wouldn't know. Um, all right, it's to me. I feel like I'm missing something here, but I'm not. I'm not a huge topping guy, but I gotta take like the most popular topping. And you I think it's, fucking don't do it. Go why? ahead. Why? Go. It's, you don't eat these toppings. I, I will eat them. I just don't prefer them. That doesn't mean we can't draft. I know it I mean, does, like, but we're doing a pizza draft. I can't be that like, That is such a pander move. How is that a pander? Because you, you're, you're, you're not drafted off what you believe in. You're drafted right. off pure upside of what, the popularity, what, which is all right. Do but, your thing. That's your strategy. But I'm just saying. You're drafting something that you don't believe. This is crazy. It's a first do, round do. pick. That's not. That doesn't matter. What do you want? Just leave two spots blank. It's a first round pick. I mean, just because I prefer cheese pizza doesn't mean that you I can, don't. I like said toppings. I would have said you could have drafted cheese pizza. No, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a topping. Dude, we're in the fifth round and we're in between a couple of obscure things, and you're like, oh well, I'm gonna take this, even though I have no clue because. That's a pan. You're in the first round. That's wrong. Yeah, heavy I'm gonna fucking have, hitter. You're I'm gonna, gonna have, just go. You don't go indulge. Him. I'm gonna have no shame taking pepperoni right here. No shame. It's a great pick, Ed. If it's there weren't two pepperoni, if it was a single topping category, one topping only, I'm taking pepperoni right there, fourth overall, because it, in in and of itself, you can win with pepperoni on its own. Pepperoni's great. Mm. I love pepperoni. I agree. Con, con. What does pepperoni play nice with other ingredients compared to other available yes. meats? I'll say this as well. It makes the pizza a little more greasy. It does. It does. Yeah. That's that's a con. Uh, it looks beautiful as cartoon pizza. I think that's a pro. Who's got bad pepperoni? Hmm. I don't like when don't different know. restaurants, do, like, they'll arbitrarily choose between putting it under the cheese and putting it on top. I prefer it on top because when it goes through the oven, it gets that nice burnt crisp to yeah, it. Yeah, I love that too. But that's my only, like, it, they should always be on top, I think, the pepperonis. Mm -hmm. Is more or less, is more or less, Will? Do you like a meat lover's pepperoni? Will you go give me give me triple pepperoni, or do you I, do you I like just the, the spaced cheese. out pepperoni? I want to yeah. see the cheese in between the little circles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want. I don't like. I feel like there are certain chains that run commercials where it's like is that just pepperoni and nothing, no cheese on there. So. Gives me heartburn. That's another little con. But it's fucking pepperoni. Pop, yeah, it's fucking. It's a heavy hitter. That, was, that's all there yeah. is to it, right? Will was that your number one topping? Tell me, it was your number one topping? I you know. Next question. All I right. can't give away what I would be doing in the draft. All mm -hmm. right, then I'm 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 gonna stay in the topping category and I'm gonna take the fucking second most popular and it's sausage. You had Whoa. I mean, why would I not do this? You had to. You had I, to. Hey guys, let him have that. Sausage is That's not crazy. It's not second tier. You think it's you think it's a good pick or a bad pick? I mean, you I think that bad. I think that strategically you made the exact move you should have. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you cornered the market. Yes. Yeah. Well, you guys put me in a like. You made me this way, just like we made Carl take fucking Family Feud and uh, what was it? Wheel of Fortune back mm -hmm. to back. I couldn't just sit there and not take two running backs. You know, I needed Cadillac Williams, best and player available, Ronnie Brown. Like so I needed let's them both. Talk I, about sausage. I disagree with that, brother. I disagree with that. I think like you just said, back to back pepperoni and sausage. I feel like I'm at a third grade pizza party. Like somebody orders up, we're not going to say names because I'm not going to tip anything off, but you order a chain and you got pepperoni and sausage sitting there. And sausage really isn't that big of a player. Like it's not that big of a hitter, if I'm being honest. See, here's where I think that might be regional because it is here. 
I, I think so I think Will's off base on that. Sorry, Will. I think sausage plays coast That's to coast. Okay. This is manifest destiny of sausage. It plays all over this country. Oh, well, well, I, 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 I think it plays all over this country, but okay. I don't think it's, I don't think it's like that tipping point of, of number one in the second round. I don't think that sausage is the number two uh, topping. Okay. When you already have pepperoni, like I you think, already have pepperoni. Yeah. Now you can get a little creative, like what marries with pepperoni. Yeah. Like what can play. Like you don't. You're getting sausage. You're alienating two single topping pizzas there. I will when say when you could have made you could have mastered something right there. Yeah, I will say that I I get them both, but I'll never usually get them both on the same pizza. I'll get it. I get them. On and the that's same not pizza. what we're taking for the record, though. I know that's not what we're taking. But that's just just one I gotta, thing I, gotta, I hate about East Coast pizza. In my experience with it. They don't do the crumbled sausage. They do sausage slices, and it drives me fucking nuts because it's way worse when it's sliced sausage. I prefer the crumble as well. The crumble's better. You get the fucking fills. Uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, well, oh, they make it in house. Oh, I know. Out such a good that's sausage. Such a special. You can taste that feature. fennel, like it, just thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. They have a guy there who just does the sausage. That's you know, this like beautiful doing the pizzas, taking the orders, delivery guy, and then you just got a guy in the back who's like, "What's he doing? He's just working on the sausage." Beautiful. So yeah, I. So see, sausage is too hit or miss for me. Like you said, the you you noted fennel, massive ingredient in sausage, but you're you're not getting the same sausage pretty much everywhere you go. To that's fair right. Con. That's a true. Po- Sometimes that's true. you go into a place and the you just look it on the rotator, and the sausage looks like fucking dog meat. Yep. It looks disgusting. Mm-hmm. That's true. So it looks I, like, I understand. Yeah. There's definitely a low floor. But for sausage. I think yeah. that the best sausage is the best ingredient. But it's like high ceiling, low, low. I would floor, agree. I you know, so I would agree. yeah. When you said fennel, I was like, yeah, that it, sausage does hit. But you're not for the majority. You're not getting that type of yeah. It's a boomer bust pick a little bit. But yeah. I think it's I think it's I think it's yeah. You you fucked up what I would have taken it. I was like, the, it's a Jamarcus I, Russell pick. Ooh, no, oh, come on! I'm not gonna sit here and accept. <laughs> no that. No way! So, <laughs> I just can't. Sausage has had a 30 year you career. Do, you can't do that <laughs> you to can't me. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> That's bullshit. Jamarcus <laughs> Russell. Um, so Dave, you you're mad at me for it, but I had to do it. I had. I mean, I had you to, you eat cheese pizza uh, almost exclusively. Because uh, it's what I prefer, but it is a top. Like toppings are the category, yeah. so it's. Like, I had what are you to take two. Yeah, he, he sh- and my should've... topping list of what I really like is not deep, so I'm happy to get that too. And okay. I got the two top ones. So, in my opinion, I'm interested. Don't say yet, yeah, Will, but I'm interested in what your two is for topping. But, uh, Carl, back to you. So, uh, hmm, this is a. It's a loaded question because we're you've really dominated the ingredients there by taking the two foundational pieces. I think pepperoni is much better than sausage. Um, I like a style, but I can get that style later. Okay. Yeah, you almost you can't go style right here. Yeah, be it would be bananas to go yep. style because style is available in the third. Mm-hmm. Um, so now it's a question of for me really it's chain or topping. And the chains are. I'm so I'm so I know I'm taking time here. I'm sorry, guys, but the the changes aren't there for me right now. So it sounds like you're going topping. And uh, <laughs> yep, I am. I'm just working through this. I'm going to take mushroom. Ooh. So I just think it's so hard to get to get a competitive for a mushroom. I know, Will. You could look around all you want. You can look all you want. But I'm I'm going with fan favorites here because you're gonna find out, Will. You're gonna find out very quickly. I'm I'm appealing only to Will Compton in this in this argument right now. Pizza's pizza's close to home, Will. <laughs> All right, people are very passionate, and I want to give I want to give the mushroom lovers an opportunity to be proud of the second round here. I'm like rallying my people. You like home run in, you like mushroom. Team four is right here for you. You hate it, Will. What was the face for? <laughs> Say that this man, stinks. This, this, man, this man questioned me about my pizza experience and his, I mean, his essentially top top pick was mushrooms. Like <laughs> mushroom is like, uh, mushroom plays on pizza. Like I'm not saying that's, that that's not true. Like mushroom, I love mushrooms. As a matter of fact, if I go to steakhouses and I see a mushroom appetizer, I'm ordering it because I enjoy mushrooms. So I'm part of your mushroom fan base. 
but taking it this fucking high with mm-hmm. all of the stuff we have on this list like is is basic brother like that is a bad <laughs> pick that is a bad pick <laughs> hey will uh, i agree <laughs> I, I'm not a mushroom guy, so like I think that I think there are Which is the weirdest thing about you because I feel like mushrooms would be right up your bougie ass alley. <laughs> um, like well, okay. Am I wrong? Why are mu- yeah, mushrooms probably. are bougie now? They oh, let's can get be. the take on. Finish the take. You, um, you don't like mushrooms. Yeah, I think it I think it's gonna be a very polarizing pick because there are people who just like, no, I'm not doing mushrooms. And I think you're gonna. Lo- I think you might you either lose. love mushrooms or yeah. hate mushrooms. Hundred percent. There's people that are already out the door. the The idea here is, I think there's just so majority. Much, there's gonna be a lot of parity here, guys. A lot of people are gonna say, "Well, I like a New Haven. I like a Chicago thin." And there, and if I'm, does anybody have a list of the chains pulled up? I have every chain that has over 200 locations. Nothing but parity there. If yeah. You're gonna make an argument in the second round. My argument here in the second round for mushroom. Are there better toppings? Maybe mushroom yes. was going to get drafted. It's so unique. It was though. going to get drafted. I'm sure. If you like, yeah, like mushroom you can, will get drafted. Yeah, you're gonna find. I, it I think hang this on, is on, the Jamarcus Russell pick. Are there better toppings than mushroom? There are, but then I go. Now I'm going specialty in my head. There's stuff I would get, but again, like I'm gonna go. I I I'm putting my style in the third, fourth, or fifth round because I don't need it. There's two toppings to you, work you, with. One of my topping strategies is to take something that people see and they're like, boom. If I see that, I love it. It's, it, it, it elicits an opinion, guys. Mush- I like mushroom. White Sox mushroom, Dave? I don't often get it on a pizza, but I love mushrooms. So if it's on a pizza, then I'll go to town on it. So I don't hate it. It's just that with pizza, I'm going pepperoni and sausage. I don't yeah. like veggies you, on my pizza. You don't listen, do any veggies there's on gonna pizza. Be, there's gonna I will. Be. If people want it, then I absolutely drag it through the garden, as they say. But when I'm ordering alone, mm. typically not. Listen, it's not for me, but there's going to be 10 ingredients drafted. And I think mushroom, I, I was assuming it was going to be somewhere in the 10 ingredients drafted. And let's tear the ingredients when we're done. In yeah. the that, that, we that's do that. fine, but we're, we're talking about third ingredient take yeah, off the fucking sure. board, boys. And sure, I, but like, I think you can take I, I listen, the seventh, and you're still going to be in the same realm of like, all right, well, what's then? You, you then we'll, got on the when seventh. I see a you topping that makes me go, seventh. "Fuck, I should take that over mushroom." Will then tell me, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll let you know when oh, that happens easy. on the draft. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm an honest, fair guy. I'm not going to lie to you about this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, mushroom is off the board, uh, Chief. Oh, I feel he's like got that look he's in his got eye. that look in his eye. <laughs> I like to add a little bit of sweetness to my pizza. He's going to do it. And there's no vegetable that delivers oh. that sweetness and that smell. I've drafted this smell before, but a cooked onion is awesome. So I love having I love having onion as my uh, my I guess my I, my my normal pizza order would be another vegetable, which I won't say an onion and then one of Ed's meats. And I kind of go back and forth between the meats. And I think it's the perfect combo. You need a little sweetness baked in there and that onion delivers that perfectly. I love the texture of the onion. I love the smell of the onion. Onion, second round. Very popular pick. I don't think it's a, I don't, you, you had that look in your eye, but I think it's. I, I think the amount of pushback that mushroom got, I was nervous to take a vegetable topping, <laughs> even though a mushroom's not a vegetable, but you know what I'm saying. I got a little bit like, but th- that's my pick. Like I, I go with pepperoni or sausage and then onion, like a hundred percent. And one other thing, which we'll, I'm sure we'll take did, later. Will, did you have onion ahead or behind mushroom? Oh, ahead. Mm-hmm. Well, see, so if we're grading draft right now, what chief just did is not only did he start to set up what he was going to say, but then after he did it, he explained why. When Carl got on, number one, he, he he's had all the time in the world. Um, <laughs> he just said mushroom. And then ultimately, he's just hoping that mushroom fans save him. Like, that's that's just on drafting alone. Now, as far as the ingredient goes, I do. I think uh, onions are definitely ahead of mushroom. I like onions, and I think he's right about the sweetness, the way it gets baked in it. If done right, too thin yep. of an onion, like, that's kind of weird. I would agree. If you're, like, taking a bite and then the, and then the – onion kind of slivers on your lip or something 
Like you Will, don't want them on your spot. I fucking I hate when cheese. that happens. I know exactly what you're talking about. And those ones get like a little browned, I feel like, usually, too. They're so thin. Yeah. That drives me fucking crazy. So you, you're right. Like, you need to have it sliced the, the appropriate way. Um, and I also don't really like purple onions for whatever, red onions for whatever reason. I usually get like the white or the yellow, like the sweeter onions. And I think those are those are king. I do love when sometimes you get like the little inner, like the very middle of the onion where they leave it kind of whole and yeah. it's like a chunk bite. Love that. Yeah. It's like a long snapper. I mean, you play the game without it. <laughs> like it, it, it's there. It's That's part of the like team and stuff. That's like a crazy take from Mushroom it's Guy. It's just texture, man. It's a it's, texture game. If he's a long flavor. snapper, you're the fucking water boy. No, man. Wow. Dude, dude, dude. Damn mushroom's on. a pass rushing specialist, <laughs> man. Mushroom's, no. a, man. Mushroom's a third down. Go get the quarterback. No. Uh, just high value, no high way. impact. That's like that's pepperoni. That's pepperoni Dave, pe- or sausage. Dave, pepperoni is going one one. Okay, I mean, edge rushers probably go first overall yeah. just as much as every every nah, team. Third down guy. I'm talking third every down, like team. A Jerry Hughes. But like, even if you want to stick with like, you actually cannot play football without a long snapper. And then I would say like your mushroom is like a gimmick player. It's like a it, you you took the wildcat quarterback. Is that what it is? That's what you yeah, took. <laughs> yeah, you took a wildcat quarterback. <laughs> People do I people do love onions though. I love onions. onions. I'm, not, are great. I'm not an onion yeah, guy. Yeah, I love onions. That's a good ingredient. Yeah. Like are you like I got a buddy. Would you like, get just a pizza with just cheese and onion? No, I, I, I wouldn't know. I got a buddy who's like Start Shrek. There. He would he he just eats onions like White Sox did there for D Rose's knee. I mean I I, <laughs> I I like my dad had a vegetable <laughs> onion growing up and I would go and pick little baby onions out of it, wash all the dirt off, throw some salt, pepper, olive oil on it, and just eat them raw. Go to town. Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Fucking I, delicious. I can't really do the raw onions. I got to cook them a little bit. But I yeah, put them I like in. Grilled. I, I, I put like them in like everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Onions off the board. Uh, White Sox, Dave, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go chain. Have we done a chain yet? No. no. No, I'm going first chain. So I'd rather spend 40 bucks on a um, oh, on God. a pizza, getting it from like a good mom and pop shop than a chain. Of course, there's a period in life where everybody's getting chain pizza. It's college. And I... I didn't mind Little Caesars at all. Get the $5 hot and ready. You just walk in, walk out with the pizza, and it's perfectly edible. Not saying it's great. Not saying it's bad. Just saying it's for bang for your buck, five bucks. I don't know if it's still like that. I'm sure it's probably $10, $10 hot and readies or whatever now. But um, I, I, it, I think it's the best bang for your buck, big time chain location pizza you can get. I like Little Caesars too, Dave. Well, I, you impressed me today, Dave. Yeah. I thought you were going to dump all over Little Caesars. But Little Caesars has a place. Like there's it's a t- perfectly like, adequate pizza. Yeah. Is that place first chain taken? See, I'll be I, honest. I think I didn't gonna know take, which I think chain. that's a solid pick. I, that's on my list. I think that's a. Very I think there's solid one, pick. and I will veto it. In my opinion, I think there's a big four for the chain pizzas. I would agree. There's a big four that are at least popularity's sake. That was in the big yeah. four. That was in the big four, and I kind of like I know what I hate the most out of the big four. But for my like top three, I kind of mix. Yeah, I would say. And Little right, Caesars, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, Little Caesars not my bottom. So I also the, the time when I was probably like six or seven, our Kmart had a Little Caesars in it. So I feel like every time like we would go to like I feel like our Kmart's they're gone, right? Yeah, Kmart's like, are gone. Yeah, so yeah, like dead. that was like the target. I feel like back in the day, but they always had a Little Caesars, and I would always like like beg to sneak off for like a little little yeah. square slice. Yeah. It was great. Mm-hmm. And they got the breadsticks, the crazy bread, yeah. yeah. And it, got the that's the other draft, thing, guys. Pizza draft. It, <laughs> it gives you the uh, marinara cup on the side, and then Love you get that. the little pepperoncini. And obviously, if you good. if you need to rely on dipping your pizza into marinara sauce, it means it's probably not the best quality of pizza. But it's a nice touch for a five dollar big ass large pizza that you're gonna house with, you know, at two in the morning in your college dorm. And can I tell you this too? Yeah. I love the fucking catchphrase "pizza, pizza." Like you yep. gotta love that. I love the little fucking Caesar, you know. Yeah, good mascot. Great, yeah, great mascot. Yeah, great mascot. Awesome mascot. I know, awesome pissed. Mascot. I know yep. Carl is pissed that we're talking about everything else because he's had a terrible draft so far. <laughs> but I, I am a fan of the little Caesar's pick. Oh yeah. yeah the other that. thing I love about the little Caesar's bitch. pick is that they got super. That family, the Illich family, got super rich on fucking shitty pizza that they delivered, pizza, pizza, fast. And you know what they did? They did what all of us would do. They bought a baseball team and they bought yeah. a hockey team. Yeah. And I think that's fucking awesome. So like that family yeah. is living the dream built on pizza. Yep. So 
Shout out to they, them. They would have workers sitting outside of the Little Caesars with all the hot and ready's going. You just pull up, hand them five bucks back in the day, and you'd be ready to go. Oh, yeah. At what point in your career, um, like in your trajectory of becoming a millionaire, was um, Little Caesars like below you, or it, it, did it never get to that point? No, oh, Little Caesars is not below me. You're, 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 <laughs> the narrative you're trying to paint now because you're so deep in the hole. And I'm not going to be phased by it because I know you're projecting. But Little Caesars, I could go to Little Caesars right now. I'm all about chains, bro. I, I can't forget where I, how I grew up. No, I, I love that. I follow your you. You have good like financial advice, you know, and talking about buying the house and being smart with your money. Like I, I listen when you talk, Will. Don't worry. I'm, I, I meant that sincerely. Is it? You know, you're a finance guy. I love that. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Now you're trying to get my guard down a little bit. <laughs> there, they, he had uh, little places, too. Like, there was Caesar Land. You ever hear Caesar Land? No. Yeah. I don't remember that. What's that? There was one by my house. It was Caesar, like an amusement had, park? Yeah, it had like a jungle gym and shit. And like rides. Oh, kind of like, 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 a McDonald's. Actually, like the McDonald's Fun House or whatever? Uh, it was like a... Uh, it was like a certain rat that I can't really talk about okay, right yeah, now. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. But it was like him. Uh, Little Caesars, first chain off the board. I like it. Will, you're up. Oh, I get to go. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Man, we got a chain off the board. We got frozen pizza getting kicked in. Toppings. Do I believe that these toppings will be there? Because now I feel like there's going to be a run on chains in a minute. I know I get two in a row. All right, I'm ready for fucking chaos, boys. I'm going to go... Fuck. All right. Leave all this dead time in here, Harry. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with toppings because I'm ready to fucking go, Carl. I'm ready this is your number dance, two brother. overall, right? This is your second on the board. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm. I'm. You know, I think I would. I would choose a frozen, but since they haven't been getting picked up, um, I feel like some will be there. Now I'm worried about not grabbing a chain at this point because it's going to be a long wait after after I pick these two. That's true. How many toppings do we have off the board? Four? We have... Yep, four. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to grab... Uh, I'm going to go with the topping here, and I'm going to grab bacon. Hmm. Wow, while you're doing all that, I was thinking maybe bacon's going to be here in the fifth round. It's a good pick. That, everyone's already figured out the way you dress, so I'm sure <laughs> bacon would be there in the fifth round. Okay, buddy. Let's talk <laughs> about bacon's a good number pick. One. Bacon's a good pick. Okay. okay, well, I don't have. I, I can't play off that if you're telling me I have a good pick. I don't like the pick. How about that? I think the pick sucks. Yeah, nah. I love bacon. All right. I like it on basically any other medium, except for pizza. I think it makes it a little a little greasy and a little too salty. And I I just I'm not I'm not a big bacon on pizza guy. Bacon if is I the star have... of the show. You want the pizza to be the star of the show. It's like it's like having is, two quarterbacks, but you don't have any. Which is okay. We're drafting toppings on the pizza. Like if we're just going strictly pizza, like Styles got its moment for pizzas, Chain's got its moment, Frozen's got its moment. But when we're in the toppings category, you're trying to find your stars. You're trying to find your big dogs. You're trying to find your guy, your heavy hitters. And to me, if there was a combo I had to live live on, that was just a two topping pizza. It's gonna be pepperoni and bacon, the pep and bacon. I think bacon goes on a lot of different stuff. It's got a lot of versatility, and um, I think it's a big player. And I think it's uh, you're obviously overlooking the fact that yeah, I understand you're saying it can kind of steal the show. However, we are in the toppings category. We're not choosing pizzas anymore. We're choosing toppings, yep. and so that's why I go with bacon. You're, you're talking about it as if you're going to pick each individual piece off of the pizza, eat it, then eat your cheese pizza plain. Like it's, I don't, I think when you add the bacon to the cheese, it does make it like a little, there's something about it just never hit right for me, but you know, to each their own. I, uh, bacon was not on my list for toppings. I think it's a great pick. I think Will. bacon goes, I think it goes well with onions too. Like if you look at the, 
the, not not styles, but like uh, the themes of pizza. Mm -hmm. Bacon plays on a lot of the themes, mm -hmm. and yeah. so I, I I think it's a big player. My uh, my favorite combo is bacon and something that hasn't been drafted. So I, I appreciate that. I, I think bacon's a good uh, a good pick. Hmm. Bacon was really popular when when you first started ordering pizzas with your buddies. So we were in I think it was like the summer going into sixth grade where it became a thing where it was like, oh we're gonna be over at Robbie's house. Let's put in an order for the pizzas. The guys, everybody throws in like five, 10 bucks or whatever. You know, somebody's mom makes the order, the pizzas show up and you kind of act like, oh yeah, the pizzas are here. It's guys night. We're hanging out, we're watching the home run derby or whatever. And I remember when you got control of like that pizza order, you're like your own independent little guy. But we were putting bacon pizzas, nine out of 10 pies. It, it, oh. I went through a whole bacon pizza phase, mostly through junior high. Um, and it does speak to me. Now, Will, I also want to point out, you know, in this room, I agree with you. Don't just because some people agree with you at some point doesn't mean they're going to agree with you throughout the entire draft. So just be wary of the alliances that, that you want to build as we do this. I understand. I learned something there too. So I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate you putting me on game. And you said that story masterfully. It's kind of like the graduation phase from pepperoni and sausage, like getting cheese, pepperoni and sausage, single topping pizzas. I, I agree. It was kind of like a graduation phase. You thought you were like an exotic little boy when you got the bacon on it. Beautiful. So uh, bacon's uh, bacon's gone. You're up again. <clears throat> All right. So um, I'm going to go with a chain. And my chain is going to be Domino's. I'm going to take Domino's off the board. Um, I know Domino's has been – at the end of the day, Domino's has been standing when the dust is – as the dust has settled. I think it's part of the big four. It's had its roller coaster ride throughout its career. And what I've loved about Domino's is the way the whole adapt or die mentality. You throw a little garlic on the crust, they got the garlic on the crust. You need to make the entire crust a little bit better because people would say it's like cardboard, eating cardboard. They adapted and, um, and fixed the crust. They have garlic butter. There's a competitor out there, I won't say names, that what set them apart from the rest of the chains, they would have garlic butter. Domino's comes in, now they have garlic butter. I think they've always adapted as their career has unfolded and so i think domino's is a big dog was it not Domino only that and i know we're what's up i was good didn't they just have that whole like marketing campaign about how they made their pizzas like actually good or am i thinking of someone else yeah they got a new ceo and his first thing was like 10 years ago he was like they started doing commercials they're like our pizza is not very good yeah and we're changing it right and now, now. it actually and if you looks don't really like the good pizza you order from us we will give you a full refund and I they did to, that for like a year and it and it and then they use that to like build their right. app. So I don't know how much we come in with the chain stuff, but the app for Domino's is so good, revolutionary because they were the first ones to put delivery time into it and it was accurate and it was updated for GPS long before Grubhub, before anybody else it was like, yo, did you hear about this new Domino's app? Like they'll tell you down to like the minute I when like that, that. pizza's coming. They've I done a lot of good. They, they've done a lot of good. They've but. always been ahead of the game. And I, I there's you can make an argument that America does not become like a pizza culture. We're not sitting here having this draft without Domino's. You know what they invented? Delivery. Co the corrugated box. Mm -hmm. So like that that box. Didn't know that. Where it folds and That's it a makes, fun right makes there. that pizza. I was what there was <laughs> Will's the, uh, shaking his hands all excited. <laughs> <laughs> so there no, was, no, no, no. So you know, you know a, how that dude was doing like the little record time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where yeah, right they it. they open and it, fold right, it, fold it. Like, yeah. So there, there pizza was, culture is built on Domino's. On Domino's because it, it made it accessible to everybody. Like you can get it delivered to your house. It's not going to be all stuck on a, you know, on a bag or whatever. So that was like on that History Channel show, like the food that built America. They talked about that with Domino's. I have to, I have to it's, watch it's, that. It's, it's, a it's a pretty good, good show. One, yeah. yeah. And I have so, to but watch that, that. The, the guys who started Domino's, which I think they're two brothers, brothers from yeah, two Missouri, brothers. Missouri, maybe? They might be from like your neck no, of the Michigan. Was it Michigan? Like, okay. Yeah. One of the, yeah. Okay. So ne never mind. But they invented the uh, the corrugated box and made it made pizza a thing universally across America. Uh, That's I, incredible. I just don't like Domino's though. Yeah, I haven't had it yeah, in so long. I, I think that there's I something about you. the sauce. I'm just like ah, it turns me. I don't know. They're also it, on my band list. When's, so the, when's, I can't have when's the last time you had it? They're on I my think band I list. I had it last year, maybe last year. I had I had a, I had a, a little Domino's. Let's order a bacon right, right now. Let's order bacon right now. There, there's that one get over. Uh, pad, there's bro. one two blocks from here. I just, the, I don't know. Like you yeah. said, they change it. I don't know. I guess I'm trash. I like the old bad stuff better. They, uh, you know, that one. It's <laughs> over on like um, Wells and maybe Division. It's like it's almost like underground. 
like just south of like the end of of how yeah. they had to shut that down for like rats. Really? That's yeah. that's oh. the restaurant that got uh, Domino's banned. Well, I, mm-hmm. well it's a franchise. I don't yeah, want to yeah, put yeah, too yeah, much on can. Domino's. Yeah. There's no, 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 no guy in a building. Totally. You know. I'll give them a pro. There's there's a guy who I've seen here on this one on Clark. And sorry, I know this is very Chicago specific. This guy is the Dark Knight of Chicago. This guy <laughs> stuffs twelve pizzas in his backpack, Will, and he rides around this fucking neighborhood and just like saves slinging, everybody's life. slinging pizzas. Just slinging yeah. pizzas, and like I'm not kidding you, the sheer size of this guy's backpack when I seen him, I was so impressed. Like, and yeah. and it's the same guy every time. He's working his dick off at like one a.m. And I honestly, like me and my buddies, we call him the Dark Knight of... Yeah, he's uh, a professional. The yeah. Dark Knight of Wrigleyville. He really is. If you know who he is, you know who I'm talking he, about. If you're he's in the saving area. Sunday mornings yes, all over dude, the city. This guy's yeah. fucking stacking pies in his fucking backpack. Dude, mad, <laughs> mad respect for the craft, too. Yes, for sure. Another con, I don't like that they took Pete's out of their name. Like how Duncan took... Uh, so that's part of like another con because it went into like that sandwich route. Yeah, we got like, oven oh, baked yeah. subs, yeah. I was going to say, I know we're not... I know we can't get outside of the scope of pizza, but they do have solid subs. And mm. as far as the taking the pizza out of Domino's, I did not know that little fun fact. However, like it is what it is. Like It's like Duncan took the donuts out of Duncan. Domino's. They're just Duncan yeah. now. I don't appreciate that at all. And it doesn't affect me at all, but there's something what, about what, it. What pizza do you call? What pizza do you call? Like you call it Little Caesars Pizza, and you say, "No, let's get some Little Caesars." Like Domino's Pizza, you say, "Let's get Domino's Pizza." You say, "Let's get some Domino's." True, but Papa don't John's. fucking uh, when you don't dump the girl who took you to the dance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and if don't you, if you built an empire on doing one thing, yeah, exactly. You know, just try to do that one thing better. And yes. I, you know, and they, the guys who invented pizza and the pizza delivery game to get in, like we do subs now. Like, no, you do pizza, and you better be goddamn proud. Yes, of Yes, yeah. exactly. But that's a fair, fair, very uh, personal con. Yeah. Um, White Sox. <laughs> I'm going to take one topping right now because I'll be able to get. All right. Yeah, I'm, j- I'm going with roasted peppers, roasted bell peppers for my pick. I think it's a great pick. So that's my other ingredient. I'll do pepperoni or sausage, onion and green pepper. I think that's that's a home run. I think so roasted bell peppers. Why wouldn't you just say bell peppers? You ask them to be yeah, pre, yeah. pre-cooked they're, they're, and then put they're on the pie. They're different. Yeah, right? it, if you just put it, if you just dice them up and put them on on the pizza, mm-hmm. they'll have that crunch. I don't like that crunch. Oh, with I the do cheese. like the texture. Yeah. So okay. if you roast them first, it's still all bell peppers, but I like them roasted because they they they're a little slimier. I don't know. I know that made it sound gross, but. It did. <laughs> we did. Are we talking red? Or they're like sauteed here? a little bit or whatever. Uh, I mean, it's they're all bell red. peppers. That's... It all they're all the same fruit. Yeah, but I think they they got a little different taste, right? The red and the green. Yeah, we looked that but up. But you Maybe don't I'm you wrong. don't you just put them on the pizza? I I think that and the yellow. I think that they it's do all the have when a you little. Said roasted, my I palate think, can't tell red. the difference. My personal palate cannot tell the difference between. It's just the a, colors it's of the a different. Pepper. It's. They're all the same pepper. It's just the different amount of how ripe they are. Ah, uh, that's not true. I'm pretty sure that's true. No, it's not. They're all bell peppers true, in bro. different like life cycles. No, but how- like a red, a fully ripened red bell pepper was not like, or a fully ripened green is not going to like turn red later. Same right. thing with an orange and a yellow. It's not. It's absolutely not. They're different. They're different. It's like a blonde. And I'm a just green. going with peppers. Can we just stop talking <laughs> about peppers? I'm going with peppers. We can tell you don't go shopping, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I I think they're I think bell peppers are fucking great. I, it's I can't. Per- Will can you tell the difference between a red and a yellow or a green and a yellow? Not not really. How, okay. Like, but I will say there are like red peppers and green peppers that go on pizza. And I think when you came out and said green peppers, I kind of like sat, was taken back for a second because I'm like I thought that was would still be on the board. Yeah. Because roasted red, like I think when I hear roasted peppers, I think roasted red peppers. Yeah, I get, I agree. Yeah, I, you I, would actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, now that I think about it, or like the kind that uh, Jim puts in the jars, like right. those are all like roasted, They're red, roasted red and peppers, chilling yeah. in oil. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, roasted bell peppers is gone. Uh, Chief, you're up. Um, I'm going with my favorite chain here, and it kind of lends to the fact that I like uh, New York and New Haven style better thin crust style than taking Sparrow. So the that's my they don't it broke my heart, but they used to have. A Sabero in the uh, Ogilvy Transportation Center, uh, 
and now it's no longer there. But that was like when I was taking the train a lot back when I was early, young, living in the suburbs, commuting in. I was stopping for Sparrows quite a bit at that Ogilvy. So I'll, I'm happy to have Sparrow. I feel like people are looking around the room like oh, I should have taken a no, different no, no, one. No, 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 no. To me, this was the, – it's not in the big four, but this was like right outside the five where it's like – Yeah. It's Number one hitter. food court pizza. Number yeah. one food court pizza. Yep. Sabaro or Sabaro? I say Sparrow. That's Sabaro? what I was wondering. Yeah. I, I think I say Sabaro. That's why I was laughing. I also say Mario Sparrow. instead yeah. of Mario, so I could just be like my own speech pattern, but uh, I've always said Sabaro. The only experience I've had with it is at like mall food courts, and I've always hated it. I've always thought it's gross. It's, yeah, well, it is. It's you a think great it's gross? mall. I think it's a great. I mall. think it's I great. Think it's yeah, and I love it. I loved it in Ogilvy too, which I'm sure is even probably. I don't know why this makes sense in my head, but I feel like mall Sbarros were probably better than the train station Sparrow, and I still like. It. <sighs> Fuck! I don't know if I could keep talking about this if you keep saying it like that. What am, what I, am know, I saying? Right? It's almost like you're saying it's almost like you're saying sparrows. <laughs> yeah. Sabaro? Sombrero or something. Sabaro. Yeah. Yeah, Sabaro. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know I which it a, is. But. I think it's a it's like a decent pick. Like I think you make that pick, um, you know, playing to a crowd that might love Sabaros. But anytime I was in a mall, Sabaros never made its ne- never made never made its way to the top for me. Like okay. you got the people at the Chinese spot standing out with the samples. I was always a victim to any Chinese spot in the mall food. So Sabaros never really made its way to the top for me at all. And uh, so, yeah, I, th- I mean, I think it's decent, though. Like, I think people enjoy it. Yeah. I think if you gave me a choice between Sabaro, is that right? Yeah. Sabaro <laughs> or or a, do- or a slice of do- a slice of Sabaro or a slice of Domino's, I'm taking Sabaro. I think that's fair. Yeah. And I think it's... They sell it by the slice, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's tough to get past the Stromboli there. Like, the Strom- they got great Stromboli. <laughs> So, like, I don't – when I do Sabaro, it's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm always going Stromboli first and, like, throwing in a slice. A fucking food court, man. I mean, you know, the mall, so I'm in. I think it's a good pick. There's going to be a resurgence on food courts. You think so? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. All right. Interested. Sabaro is off the board. Uh, Carl. All right. Let's play some chess here. This was available in the second round, but I'm going to take it here in the third. Because uh, I, I don't know if Ed's going to take it. A good drafter would take this in the fourth round. If I was in the fifth round, I was Eddie, I would take this in the fourth round. So I'm not going to let you do this. I'm going to take deep dish. Okay. Okay. So obviously there's not much I need to add uh, about deep dish. Uh, at this point, I'll just turn it over to Will and your experience with deep dish, um, what you think of it. Why do you got to turn it over to me? Because I'm going to sit here and say the same shit we've talked about in the years we've been programming mm-hmm. here out of our school, Chicago. We've we've done we've beaten this dozens into the ground. of hours on deep. We've sold merch on it. It's a it's like a thing with us that we think it's overrated, but it's part you know like it's specialty occasion stuff. I think ultimately it is overrated. Like uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't get it a whole lot. The few times I've gotten it, I've never really. Like, I'm like, okay, this is cool. Uh, really fucking heavy. Deep dish, like, you know, it's in the name. You got to kind of get your, your your fork and spoon out at times. Um, I think the best Chicago-style deep dish pizza out there might be from old Chicago. Mm-hmm. The chain restaurant. Because yeah. anytime I go to, like, the spots that people try in, I can't even remember all the names, but and I don't want to say stuff and then I put my vulnerability out there for you guys to drag me across the earth <laughs> if I say like the wrong deep dish spot in Chicago because I know you guys take a lot of you guys take a lot of pride in Chicago but I think it's more like it's gotten to the point to where it's an argument just because the people of Chicago want to argue with the people somewhere else like at the end of the day I think people recognize that Chicago deep dish really isn't that great um, you got a guy sitting with you and Dave who's a Chicago native, who's, who's going thin crust. He's not even a big believer in the deep dish Chicago. seems like he doesn't even like that it's the that it's the thing for Chicago. So I do. I think it's like an overrated pick. I understand um, what it's known, what we're known for, but it's not what we typically consume. Yeah. I, I like it. I do. No, yeah, I kind of like like, yeah. just want to be the flag bearer for deep dish now. Like I'm, I think the overcorrection has been so severe that it's bullshit. I love deep dish. I'm mm. proud that Chicago is known for it. people who come here and they like it when they have it once in a while. Yes, we only have it once in a while. We have thin crust more, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah, no, I not at all. Agreed. Truth not be told, all. I was stunned you didn't take pepperoni or sausage. If you would have taken one of those, I would have taken deep dish in the second round. So I like the pick a lot. Deep dish is really good. 
Um, it was going to end up on your board in the wrap, right? A thousand percent. Yeah. So I also think that people who like Deep Dish, you, know, you look at this, New York, New Haven. If I want New Haven, will I take a slice of New York? Sure. Yeah. Like, I mean, New Haven might be better and it's a fine sub and the thin crust Chicago too. It's a good pizza. I don't see people like really passionately arguing how much they love thin crust unless you're comparing it to deep dish. Like the passion in the argument is with the deep dish. It's not with your thin crust. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so like just a, a deep dish. I don't disagree deep dish with that stuffed thing. with mushrooms. So you, when you're when you, when you're talking uh, thin crust, you're talking like the square. Yeah. Yeah, like tavern kind of style. Square, I like should say actual? Chicago thin tavern. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know people will say that the New York is thin crust. So, yeah, no. No. yeah. Deep dish no, off. I, I mean, it would have been funny if we didn't draft deep dish. So, like, part of me is like, <laughs> yeah. man, it'd be great if we, like, people would just, you fucking well, Chicago idiot. There's still, like, two styles that are still very alive. There's a great style out there, yeah. but I just, uh -huh. you know, there you can is. have it. Who, uh, who, who hasn't picked a style? I Eddie. have not. I'm the only one who has not. So what happens when you have a run on styles early, you create advantages for the guys later in the, yeah. later in the draft. I know which one I'm taking, um, but I'm not going to do it yet, obviously, because that'd be stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, deep dish, that's, there's nothing wrong with deep dish. No, I'm tired of the, the narrative that there is. No, I think, and I respect that about you, Eddie. Like, I love how somebody gets so fed up, sick and tired of the bullshit that they're ready to stand 10 toes down and take on whatever the case is. That's my entire um, existence. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally everything, and I get shit for it nonstop. I think Denzel Washington's over fucking rated. He does the same shit in every movie. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I thought the Joker Let's fucking just... sucked. And the more people tell me it was awesome, the more I think it fucking sucked. Sorry, you got me going there. Brother, you said a couple things there that I can understand why that pisses a lot of people off. <laughs> hey, um, but I'm, I'm right when but, I say that. You, you, like in your own world, like in your own movie, you're Denzel in your own movie, yes, you're correct. But overall, like I understand why, why you're probably hated because of those things. Um, but... I do want to be clear. There is really there's is there bad pizza? There is. Like I, I don't I don't disagree that deep dish is not. Oh, like, dude. It's not a bad pizza. I just I think it's you know. I lived out in Arizona for two months, a couple winters ago, for my old job, and I filtered like Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever app it was, like from highest quality in Scottsdale pizza to lowest, and I just I went to the very highest because I wanted like you know something at least close to what we are spoiled with in the Midwest and East Coast. And it was horrific pizza. Horrific pizza. Like Arizona, Florida, both cannot do pizza. That's a portrait. It's kind of like, how do you mess up uh, cheese and bread, dough. cheese, and yeah. sauce? They did. Because California Pizza Kitchen is like, it's like that's the it's like that's their pizza on the West Coast. I was hoping Chief drafted that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hate yeah. that place, but I didn't want to tip a to pick. <laughs> they have two hundred locations. Yeah, they definitely. They do. got to. And they, they had um, they had one in Geneva Comets. Well, those. some of them might draft. There's okay. one more. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Um, all right, deep dish off the board. Uh, it's to me. All right, and of course, before I make my third round pick, I got to talk about our friends at Miller Lite because summer is all about cookouts and backyard get togethers, which means plenty of time for Miller time. Miller Lite, together with Vienna Beef, the most authentic Chicago hot dog brand, is sponsoring happy hours at selected bars and restaurants in the Chicagoland area through August 23rd. And the first 500 guests will receive a free Vienna Beef Chicago style hot dog. And uh, also at the happy hour, Chicagoans will have the chance to win hot dog swag and items like prizes like sports sports and concert tickets, koozies, pine classes, and most importantly, stain resistant shirts. So people can eat their hot dogs freely with no worries about the mustard stains. You can visit MillerLite.com slash Chicago style to learn more about the event details and retail information. They're actually gonna be in my backyard this coming Wednesday at Coaches on the northwest side of Chicago. Uh, so go check that out. And also next time you're getting ready to enjoy cold ones with your crew, go to MillerLite.com forward slash Redline to find the delivery options near you. Or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Okay, third round. Sorry, I can't take topping because I should take that as Mr. Irrelevant. But that puts me in a situation where I kind of just wanted to build off of the other ones. I'm going to – and there's 
popular. See, you want to bitch at me for going popular? I'm going to go true to myself for these last couple. Love that for you. Um, I love the crunch and a tombstone. Tombstone's good. Tombstone's I good. I love the crunch. I think it's, the, you know, like there's a way more popular one that is just like. Not nearly as good. And it's a snowball. Like it's like you could ball it up and it just. I don't even know. Maybe that's not the best way. It's like no, but Gumby. It, yeah, I don't it's know not. What to say. It's, it's just, there's two pizzas that fit the tombstone category. And the other one really doesn't even belong if you want to talk quality because tombstone, I think, is better. But just based on like how they're packaged, how they're sold, how they're marketed, where they are in the freezer section, you know, four for 10, like it's it's in that same ballpark. But I think tombstone's way better. I, I agree. I, I heavy agree. I think a tombstone pepperoni is a very good frozen pizza. Just outside tier one. Tombstone's a great pick. Thank you. I However, think. there are there are there are tombstone there. Are so do we got to be specific about which box we're taking here? I'm just taking. I got classic. a couple tombstone. I got a couple tombstones on uh on my list. I'm just taking classic. So uh, that's what I'm wondering. If you say tombstone, does that mean all of tombstone is off the board? We haven't talked about that, but I think it should be just because there's enough, right? Uh, what do you guys think? Yes. I think it should be. I think you get yeah. the brand. Yeah, so I get the brand of Tombstone. Um, so, yeah, Tombstone. I like their sausage. It's good. Um, it's a good pick. Yeah, thank you. And I guess I got to go chain here. It's between the last two and the big four. I'm, I'm, I don't condone what the, uh, the, the namesake and the founder has done in his life. Oh, boy. But I will take his pizza, and that's Papa John's. Yeah. Uh, I disavow. Uh, I disavow him. Yeah, sure. Okay. But, Will, you brought it up earlier. Tell me about that fucking garlic, dude. That garlic yes. changed my life in college because I didn't get to grow up on Papa John's. So when I got to college in Lincoln, they had Papa John's. I was like, holy shit, dude. All their different themes of pizzas, I think they do an incredible job. And that garlic butter does did kind of like change the game for me. Um, and that's I like think that's another good thing. Was that the after game meal a lot of the times? No, we always had raisin canes. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you know that's but a classic remember, Urban Meyer picture on the cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 After yeah. they got smoked in the playoff, oh, I don't know when that was. Yeah, and he's just sitting there sad eating Papa John's. I think that was after the SEC championship, right? Yeah, like he lost Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida. And yeah. I, I work for the team, and it was always you got a Papa John's or you got a hot and dude. Ready. Those fucking bus trips in college, you get on the bus at, we typically got our shit blown off our fucking faces. <laughs> we stunk. But you get to the bus and there's just stacks of Papa John's. Just stacks yep, of them. Yep, exactly. Everybody you know, got their own. It's a college yeah. trip, yeah. yeah. I, I, will, I don't know what if this is true or maybe it's just a time of my life, but I had no problem crushing an entire one by oh, myself. Oh, I could do that right now but i feel like i couldn't do that with some of the other chain ones like there's just something about the papa john's right they just they went down easy (laughs) and i just i housed papa john's i could eat a hot and ready no problem like i was happy within 10 minutes i bet yeah i could eat any any of these pizzas we're talking about i can house an entire pizza oh Yeah. yeah yeah so for when we would travel like uh inner inner week like weekday college baseball games or something where you'd be playing at Eastern or Southern or something where you'd have like a two hour, three hour bus trip, but then you'd play the game and then come back that night. Every time after those games, our, our student manager would be standing there with like 30 fucking pizzas and you just would said, just yeah. grab like, uh, yeah. um, and there is a point in a young man's life though, where you're like, this is too much. I can't. I got like sick that. of it. I worked I at Lumel Nights. Well, yeah, in I don't college. get. I mean, I don't really get it now. Like, I just but, can't. But but it's also it's the Jimmy John's of pizza. It's always on every college campus, and it's it has its place in society. <laughs> you just saying that because of the John. John is in both names. Yeah, the John's like college. I don't know what to say. You know, that's it's yeah. a good app too. They run a lot of specials on their app. So if you use the Papa John's app, like, and you, you're open minded about what your pizza order is, you can usually get good deals. Who who's anti? Yeah, I, lo- I love your experience on the apps, like the individual <laughs> apps of the pizza spots. Like you, you have a lot of knowledge. Do you have like apps. a folder for all the different pizza apps? User experience, guys. Yeah. I mean, it really <laughs> is. I never used What's up? There's so much parity in the product. Like, what differentiates my loyalty to a certain brand is how easy are they making it on me? Okay. That garlic, though, man, yeah. that's fucking magic. <laughs> that garlic butter is magic. Yeah. All right, Papa John's is my pick, Carl. 
What do you need? Do you need a chain? Do you need a chain and a uh, ingredient? Yeah. There's a couple chains just outside the threshold. I like Rosati's a lot. a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, get, I got family. I think they're t- some, some kind of connection there. That's like the suburban king of pizzas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like. yeah. Rosati's, every, but, but I heard something bad about them, though. The founder died. I'll, I don't know. I'll, no, I'll tell you all a, about them in bad, a moment. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But I heard that if you get a chain license... You're just, you get the name. A hundred percent. That's you're true. This is yeah, true. Like That's the, true. And it's interesting. A lot of these yep. business models are different. I don't like that. Yeah. You so can it's, the pizza can I want to be a franchise owner one day. I want to own McDonald's or like a Taco Bell or something. I got a couple that I'm looking at. I get, Not there's seriously. Like, no, but, but legit, I got a couple like I know people that are in that industry realm? and it's like how'd you get into that young people that are like multi-millionaires like oh my my dad started a mcdonald's in 1970 and i just kind of learned the business from him. yeah Fuck. there i have one that i have my eyes on as well oh, okay they're, we'll talk about after, after. Right, yeah right. yeah well you know anything that interests you too is a shadow or angel investor we can we can talk about i'll get proxy statements um ready for you let's see okay fourth round pick chain i'm i'm going i'm sticking to my passion here there's bigger chains, there's more popular chains, but this one is one where people are like, oh, you got, you got a Jets? You got a Jets pizza? People who like Jets pizza will legitimately argue with you that like it's way better than Domino's. Like the Domino's and the Papa John's people could just talk back and forth as like a game of Pong and nobody's gonna win that argument. The Jets pizza people will like, they will, they will not back down until you are like, okay, I guess Jets is better. Jets is good? Not gonna lie, I kind of slept on Jets, but I think that's a great pick. I, I do too. Jets is good. Yeah, yeah. I think I've only. Yeah, had the only the only thing you missed there is the, uh, like the the uh, the popularity. But I think you're right. People will people will actually want to go to the ground with you over arguing Jets pizza. I think that's a solid pick. That like might have got back. That that pick might have got you back in this race. Ooh. Have you ever had five Jet, round? Race you ever had Jets room. Ranch? No. It's. Lights out. Fire. Oh, is it good? Lights out. It's not yeah. just Hidden Valley yeah. packages. No, 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 no. They like make it themselves. It's lights really? out. Really? Mm. Like mm. lights out. Mm. No, I, Jets Jets is good and that's one of those ones like these are all the chains are kind of like emergency pizzas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, you don't get them regularly. Right. And I feel like this is this I was in my old apartment, but it was within it was within the last year that I were it was like two in the morning and Jets was there for me and nobody else was, but Jets was and Jets Actually, there's one other one that I fucking hate that place. I think I know what it yeah. was. <laughs> and, uh, but Jets. How did you feel hit. the next day? Were you a little guilty? Like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I felt guilty when I woke up and saw the box. And then I'm like, oh, man, I'm gross. And then I went to the couch. And then like an hour later, I went back yeah, to the yeah, box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. So, yeah. I, just don't want, I just don't want anybody <laughs> listening to this to feel like we're pizza shaming you. Because I know there's at least one guy out there who's like, he worked really hard this week. And he's like, Jones for that Jets tonight or like that Domino's. And that Fuck like means no, a lot. I agree so like, don't listen to us. You know, be be dickheads and let that ruin your pizza experience. Like like Will said, I think the most important thing: there really is no bad. I mean, just bad pizza. Come on. No. Were were we? Were uh, yeah, we doing I think that? it's hard to screw it up. Were we being overly? There critical? was there was a little bit there where it was kind of like you know we're you know looking looking down on some folks that like. But also, a lot some people are just in areas where this is all they have. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. that's what they know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's. I mean, if you got a, you got a long, if you got, I would assume the majority of your audience have been listeners for a while. Like, you know, if you don't get the humor by now, like, do you want them as a listener? Well, I just want to be inclusive, Will. You know, just want to be inclusive about pizza. Yeah, yeah we all we all said Jets was a good pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, people, oh, people pleaser. Yeah. Oh, Chief, you're up. That was. I'm going with a frozen, and I'm going with something that's close to home. And it allows me to kind of play in two categories. I'm taking Lou Malnati's Frozen, and Ooh. and I think that is something that you know my mom used. All her family lives out east. She used to send those off as like gifts. Those frozen, those nice frozen pies. And I that has I think that to me is probably my favorite of the chain uh, deep dishes in Chicago. The buttery crust, and they cook up pretty quickly. It takes 45 minutes, and those little come in those little like tinfoil pans. Pop it right ah, in. Short let it 45. go. What? A short forty-five. Yeah, short I mean, forty-five. Mm, They're fucking great. I don't really. I'm not gonna say. Well, it. it's. I think it's better than doing twenty of something else, and then, um, like I'm willing to wait another twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes over one of these other frozen ones for for a loose. That's a that's a bougie that's a bougie sentence right there. We're talking about frozen pizza. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't really fit the spirit pizza. of what we're. I go drafting. for quality yeah. and I go for what I like, and that's what this play was. So, Lou I Malnati's. agree. Doesn't 
And I would, I would never. You would get this here, living here, as a Chicago resident. I've, I've had them in my freezer Have you? before. Yeah, no. I think, I think they reheat like, and they're not that far off from when you get it fresh. If I lived in like California, then I'd be like all about it. But not, Definitely. I would never get one here. But if you're, I, I've had them, and like I think they, I think they cook up nice, like almost as nice as when you get it at the good. store. Yeah, it's just like why would you? I don't know. Yeah, you could get one delivered in an hour that's like fresh off the fucking oven instead of. But you could say that about every frozen pizza. Then you should just get a, you know, like that's if you're, what, the, if you're keeping one in your freezer, it's for that it's moment. It's for two in the morning when you come home shit wasted, yeah, plastered drunk, and you're like, I need food, and you throw it in, and 20 minutes later you have a shitty frozen pizza. I would agree, David. I, I think if you're if you're having it in a freezer, it might as well be good. And I would say the only opposite argument is obviously there are standalone home run-ins, but I think the Frozen's better than their ah, personal locations. I don't think I've ever Do had you? that. I've heard that they some like they're very similar. Really? I don't I don't want to speak about home home run and prepares it on site, but I heard it's very hard to tell the difference between a home run in that's cooked well at home versus Yeah, what I think they the frozen's the better. Um never but, mind. All right. Any more comments on? <laughs> any more comments on lose? Well, uh, there's a little bit of like American art, uh, yeah. like, where like it fits a definition. It's a frozen pizza. You buy it. Um, you didn't. It, there you is obviously a, like, haven't read the text message that Ed sent us the night before the draft when he said it's a competition show where prizes are to be won. And I picked a competition show that happened to be a singing competition where the prize was a record deal. And the council left you off because of it. That's not my fault. I don't say it is or isn't. I'm just saying you I were think, left off. I think off. the point is it's a little like, uh, oh, okay, then fire one back at him. It's like movie so, theater popcorn. Yeah, that's, and you made up a story about a guy about. who you know that's that will buy a movie ticket just to get you know? movies. Yeah, okay. But uh, continue. Well, you're up, Dave, so you continue. And on that note, I'm going to go with Jack's Pizza. And I know the whole competition between Jack's and Dave and whatever. I don't care. I love Jack's Pizza. It just sucks because it got a little more expensive recently. I used to be able to get like three for five bucks and now it's like five dollars a pizza but um i like to get jacks i like to doctor it up on my own a little bit i'll throw a little bit of garlic salt all a little minced garlic um uh, extra mozzarella cheese and then i think it says you're supposed to be at 375 for the bake time i'll put it at 425 so you get that nice golden brown hue on the on the cheese and then i'll go to town on it that's my frozen pizza jacks Fucking Will. blows compared to Tombstone. Tombstone's yeah. the goat for sure. Oh, okay. Tombstone is really good. It's kind of yeah, yeah. Tombstone's the liquor a, a store down the street from me only sells Jacks, and that's why I get them. I like that though. It's they put them in the in the freezer with like the, the ice, ice cream. you can buy. Yeah. No, with the, oh, ice. the ice. Yeah, they just have bags of it in the hmm. ice box thing. You go and take one out and buy your buy yourself a frozen pizza. Man, Will's Will's I've got never, a I've never had frozen. It. It might be regional. I think I it think might it be. it is. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw the way you were explaining it when Chief made his pick, the way you talk about coming home plastered and like throwing popping something in for 20 minutes. Hearing you say four, 425, get that little golden hue on the cheese. It's like all I needed to hear that we would enjoy a good night together. You know what? We should we should make that happen one of these days. I'm not out of town. Brother. But do you want him doctoring it up for you like that? you want him adding this and that? Or you just want to pop it in the oven? Uh, I'm hungry. I no, when he said the whole, when he did his oven bit, I kind of like went off in a little fantasy world, so I didn't really hear what he said. What did, what did you I say just, you do that? Uh, so I'll that? usually throw a little minced garlic around the pizza uh, and then just in a little extra like shredded mozzarella cheese, like Kraft cheese. And that's it basically. I won't add like my own sausage or anything like that. Yeah, like I, I think if we're standing there together drunk and you're starting to, to do that, I'll just be like, what are you fucking doing? Just throw it in the oven. Well, it takes 20 you know seconds. What I mean? Right. I know oh, when you're drunk oh, and you want that then, pizza, those 20 yeah. seconds matter for sure. But it makes it worth it. Just trust me. You got it's one of those just trust me things. The, you'd, be like, you'd be like, all right, I'll do half, and then you got to try one. And I'd be like, all right, cool. Deal. We'll make that happen one day. Can we come down and sleep in uh, your garage? Mine? Yeah, like in the, where you're out, where oh, you are absolutely. right now. Oh, yeah. absolutely. You don't have to be in a you don't have to be in a garage. I got a guest bedroom. Oh, oh wow, cool. fancy! <laughs> I was Come gonna be on, down no, for the please. garage. Yeah, I would. I, I would host you, dude. I would host you guys well. No pause. All That's right, cool. great. Love that. Well, you're Nashville up. Nashville trip for the boys. You're up, Will. So, this is it, right? These are my final two picks. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man. What do you still need? You need frozen uh, and a topping. Topping and a frozen. Yeah. I think frozen's tough because you, you grab the uh, Lou Malnati's. Uh, you grab you grab Tombstone. <laughs> Tombstone's national. All right, no. Yeah. Tombstone's national. Yeah, yeah. Tombstone's good too. Um, I'm gonna go for my topping, and I love. I love this topping because I know it creates some chaos, and there's a there's like a there's an enjoyment, kind of like the way Eddie gets so pissed off about people talking down to Chicago, like he's ready to be pissed off, and fight that battle, or Dave, the way you are, I guess, with the Joker, <laughs> Denzel Washington. Um, people don't listen to me when I make my claims; they just think I'm crazy. But I'm gonna lean into uh, some of the strategy that you guys have done, especially Carl and the cult followings, because it's real, and I think it's bigger than people realize, and that is uh, the topping of pineapple. Mm, I'm going to go pineapple smart. on pizza. I'm a big I'm a big pro pineapple guy on pizza. I love Hawaiian pizzas. If I could do like a – I'm always torn. Now that I've done the toppings, am I allowed to talk freely about other toppings, or should I not? Well, we're going to do uh, an honorable mention, but if you do have like a combo, you could talk about that. Yeah, he's yeah, good. Like, I'm not going to draft him. I already got mine picked. Wait, do I, well, no, fuck. There's, sorry, uh, you can't because these guys haven't taken enough, I should say. That's why yeah, let's that's say why we can My apologies. My apologies. Is it going to be a good one when we wrap that up? Yeah. For Frozen, fuck. I'm torn between. Um, shit, I, I guess I can't say both. Mm mm. Who, who has I'm a Frozen? Between left? a couple. I think just Will, so you can. If, oh, you if can you're the say only both. One yeah, you're the a, only one who has it left. Okay. I'm torn between a Red Barons and a Tony's. I think I'm going to go with Tony's because that's where I get my most nostalgia from. Chief alluded to it earlier. I've never tried that pizza that he's talking about. And the only reason I didn't have a whole lot of comment is I'll never come after the mothers on the show. Um, dude, have my mom having Marianne Tony's appreciates ready you. for us. <laughs> yeah. Having a Tony's ready, like a couple Tony's ready, knowing my dad would have to have one by himself so you could never touch it. And I would always <laughs> fight my brothers on getting that extra slice. And Tony's is extremely consistent. Like you always got your, you know, it's not the it's not the biggest, but you're always going to have your like eight to ten pepperonis perfectly placed on the pizza. It's a little floppy, but I think I enjoy that, like going off the vibe that, uh, that Dave was talking about late at night. I'm going to go with Tony's, dude, and I love their box. I love the yellow box. I love the little mascot that they have. I love Tony on the front. I'm going to go with Tony's. Wow. Hey, Tony's and Red, that was not the one I think you'd be, to be between. And, I mean, we'll get to honorable mentions. but Oh, that is a little good little mascot right there. It is a little bit of a ripoff. Of the, uh, we are going to get killed for. Uh, oh, I can't believe that there's no We're going to get killed for no DiGiorno. We're going to get killed for no DiGiorno. See, I don't so, like DiGiorno. It's too, it's I too agree. doughy. I agree. I, that's, what I, that's the one yeah. I was referring to. I, 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 dude. I'm with you. And I think DiGiorno, like, you can say what you want, but the people who are, would be upset about DiGiorno are like, uh, uh, are like basic people in Star Wars. Like, they can get Jedi mind tricked. Like, DiGiorno is just a commercial. Yeah. They've made all their hay off commercials and marketing and everything else. But you want to get into the weeds of it all. Like, I obviously, Tombstone I, I, on mine was number one. Um, if you're surprised by Tony's, it's like one of those things, like, Tony's, Red Baron, and Tombstone were what I kind of grew up on. Tombstone was more like the college vibe, the college wave. Yep. Mm -hmm. But not having the choice growing up, it was always Tony's or Red Baron, and I would always be fired up seeing a couple Tony's sitting there. That that DiGiorno's like the the commercial thing you're talking about is 100 percent true. But it was it was it's it's not delivery. It's di, it's DiGiorno's, and I'd be like, yeah, no shit. Like everybody can tell, <laughs> like it's fucking DiGiorno's, and but, it's not good. But yeah. there is a big DiGiorno fan. I know that's for sure, dude. When you the crust, it's like I hard as a rock. I agree. Yeah, yeah they're they're thick. all on Facebook. We don't got to worry. <laughs> yeah, about yeah, they're all Facebook <laughs> users. No, yeah. those motherfuckers are on Facebook. Yeah, they're no, all. No, you Facebook. know who's the big fucking DiGiorno guy? Is Dana Beers. He he strikes me as Dana a Facebook guy. Hey, Dana just quit drinking, so let's not refer to him as Dana Beers True. anymore. So he that did. credibility just dropped a lot. Dana Vodka Sodas. As well. Dana did. Yeah. Um, we should comment on pineapple, though. Anybody? Um, I know I can't do it on a pizza. I like pineapple, not on a pizza. Though. Yeah, I, I, I've had it. It's just and it's I don't. It's like a polarizing one, and I don't feel particularly polarized. But if I, it's way down the list for me. Like I won't throw it away if it's on there, but I'm not choosing it. I hate it till I tried it. Very reminiscent of grape jelly on a breakfast sandwich as an Irish kid. Hmm. Not for me, but what? you want to go knock your socks off, Carl? What'd you say? talked about this before on the show too grape jelly on a breakfast sandwich 
Like Eddie's identified that as a, it's like a culturally like Irish thing or something. I think so. Like yeah. jams or something. Yeah. I, I love it. I've always put grape jelly on like a, a like a, an egg McMuffin or something from McDonald's. Oh yeah, I started so sweet that against the, the. I started salty, doing that just, with strawberry jelly very recently. What pi- I think that's what pineapple does on a pizza, where you're like, why would you do that? I hate it. And then you try, it, you're like, whoa, this kind of works. It makes sense. I love pineapple on pizza, and I get it's polarizing. People like to argue about it, but uh, I'm all about. I'm all about standing on that hill with the flag. And I haven't had Tony's enough to really give it a, a fair grade. So I think it's very similar to the rest of the rest of yeah. them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, all right, Dave, you're up. Uh, I got a topping left. I'm going with hot jardinier. Of course. I yeah. knew it. I'm, I'm mad someone didn't take it from you. No one was going to take it. I, I would have considered. I like jardin that's, pizza. That's my pizza. I order. So when I'm oh, super hungover on a Sunday, <laughs> as soon as 11 o'clock hits, which is when most places start delivering, probably all places start delivering, I'll order an 18-inch pizza, which is family size. For myself, I live alone with... Pepperoni, sausage, jardinier, well done, and I'll just pick at it through the, throughout the next 24 hours. That's my entire diet. That right. was the one I like to pair with You don't bacon. even know what we're talking about. I think. Yeah, well, do you know what this is, Will? This is the no. one I like to pair with bacon. No. It's a Chicago thing. We should, we it's should very you- Chicago specific. It's probably going to make me get left off the graphic, but I don't give a shit. It's, uh, it's pickled peppers. You got. I know this doesn't sound right, but yeah. Well, it's this jar right here. So we we actually sell them. It's the Barcel Beef Kit, but this is Jardiner, Jardiner, and like you said, celery, carrots, and Jardiner. I guess I never knew this until recently. It just means of the garden. So there's no like set ingredients. Like it could have cauliflower, it can have all sorts of things, but it's got this like hot oil. It's fucking awesome, and you it's put good it on, on pizza. It's good on pizza. Yeah. So we'll we'll Ooh, send you uh, that sounds we'll very send good. you one. It gives you a little kick. Yeah. Did you like spicy? I do. I like spicy. Yeah. Like, you like it's favorite. good. Right. Like I like um, I, if I could get a certain pizza, it'd be like a sweet heat. Okay. Mm. Oh, then this is that's what we're talking about with this. Yeah. We'll we'll send you one of yeah. these. Our, our guy large uses the oil, which has the heat in it, and cooks his eggs that way. I'll cook my eggs. I'll use the oil to sear steaks. Yeah, it's uh, very good. I'll drizzle it over like roasted potatoes. It's fucking awesome. We'll get you. We'll get yep. you one of these cases. And, and if you want it, go to tastefulchicago dot com. Love yep. you, Jim. Twenty five percent off right now. I think right. Uh, no, just t- till the end of July. Never mind. Um, hot jarred. I like the pick. Bacon hot jarred's nice, Dave. You should try it sometime. Chief, you're up. All right, so I like a little heat on my pizza too, and this is, to me, there are two things that are just standard at every pizza place. They put it on the table. They don't necessarily put it on your table. It's crushed red pepper. So if you just sprinkle on that crushed red pepper, what? That's that's not what we're talking about, Vito. I Vito. Your veto and crushing yeah, is it I not? A, I, that's a condiment, yeah. basically. That's it's not a topic. That's like a ranch mm, dipping yeah. sauce. No, 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 no. <laughs> nice try, but no. Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I'm. Obviously. It's good, Chief, but I agree with Dave. I don't think that's. I don't no, think it's it fits. A, it's a thing you put on top of the pizza. You yeah, have to cook it with the pizza, not put on top of it. All right. It. It's, well, then, then like, are you, uh, then I, I feel like that it's getting light here too. What are you laughing about over there? <laughs> I feel like that's a. I think taking the ninth ingredient. You're just in like, such disbelief that like, that you don't see how that it could not be considered. I, I think it has I, to be I, in the oven with the pizza. I think you could put it in the oven with the pizza, but nobody's ever fine. done that. I'll move. You know, you guys are. You know, that was a good pick, and you guys are just. You know, salty about it, I guess. But, um, I'll, uh, but then this one, I feel like, is the same thing. I would say basil. Like, if you're gonna have a margarita pizza, freshen up a little bit with basil. Like, there's basil's just, a topping. This basil's a topping with crushed red you pepper. Don't, is you don't. You put crushed red pepper on yourself when they serve you the pizza. Like, yeah. you're not. Yeah. You're not opening up a jar of like fresh basil leaves at the table. Like, the guy in the back is putting the basil on that pizza. Yes. Before but or after it comes no, out. No, basil's yeah. a topping because technically, I need my style. I could take the style that usually has basil on it so i would i mean right uh, d- don't no. do style with topping style stands alone right now yeah. we're just talking I'm about not, basil but as I'm, a top- I'm, basil I'm as a trying topping. to help him out i know but i don't even know how we're talking about basil as a topping versus crushed red pepper as a topping those are it's black and white basil absolutely is a topping but by the definition we just had basil doesn't typically go on in but the it's oven. served with the pizza which is pro- Carl had the better way to put it. Like they're preparing the pizza and then they're going to bring it to you. What what makes a topping you is have to- not at what point in the process of preparing a pizza does the topping um, become 
like it's not like oh step one right, you put fresh the top basil down. I guess I had crushed already written in my slot I thought that would be fine fresh basil fucking yeah margarita pizzas are he just fired. tried to draft crushed red pepper as a, a as a topping would you is that goes on top of the pizza would that would you have no, allowed that will you guys you, no 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 you guys are all right like you're right like football sports analogies boys like basil's a part of the uniform when you're walking out crushed red pepper like you either add a towel to your swag or you don't Oh wow! That's but nice. I, God damn that's it! Great <laughs> that was that was pro- that was the best analogy. All right, fine. <laughs> Fucking basil. I don't know. Like the I, eye black. I don't really love. If I'm being honest, like I am. You a, should love it. You should not love. I don't. Pig, brother. I don't. I'm not like. I'm not. You know, like what you say, planting a flag about your ingredients. I'm not planting a flag for fucking basil, but I'm looking well, you down. Well, like something else. <laughs> but I don't. I but I get the same fucking pizza every time, and it's pepperoni or sausage with bell peppers and onion. What the fuck did JJ Reddick get? Sage or some shit? Bro, yeah, he <laughs> no, he said. Uh, I thought it's it white onion and white white onion and uh, ricotta and basil. And he had ricotta. Ricotta is ricotta. Ricotta is <laughs> yeah. fucking awesome. But like in my head, I'm thinking, oh, well, that's a cheese. So the yeah. like well, cheese is fresh, like a right. standard. So fresh I was, basil. Let's see what the people think. Well, my first three are fire, and then I chiefed it. But <laughs> you chiefed hard. Dude. No, but like, lo- but like, you lose. I'll stand by the lose. The lose, lose is great. But Dave, any comment on fresh basil? I don't like it on pizza. I don't really like basil as a whole either. All right. It's a little too strong for me. Basil's great. I enjoy I enjoy basil. If it's mixed in with a ton of stuff, sure, but but I don't know. Carl, you need another ingredient to follow up mushrooms. Um, Dude, let's just go back to basics. I'm just going to take cheese. The fuck out of here. We we already said you can't do that. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Like Like, what about four cheese? No. If I don't have crushed red pepper, you don't get like... He knows what he's I'm, doing. Yeah, like I'm going to take crust. Well, on the grounds that we he vetoed or, or kicked out crushed red pepper, veto you your couldn't cheese compare pick. it to the cheese because the cheese is prepared. Like a a, a, well, it's been, a quad cheese is prepared that is an ingredient. It's been successfully vetoed by, veto. two, by two members. Um, Why don't we make it universal? Because I know you do too. I would veto. Thank you. I just think that veto. There, there should be a place, though, in a pizza draft to talk about a four cheese pizza. And, and we're just going to bypass that here in the fifth round. Um, do you, you have toppings? Do you have two of them left? I, we we could create chaos. Mm. Yeah, I got three left actually. I'm not mayor. I'm not. Three. I toppings. got toppings left. Yeah, I got three left. So all cheese is out. Like I'm not. I don't want to take burrata. That would that would fucking. But I, I like. I, th- I feel it. Yeah. I'll take buffalo all. chicken. I'll take buffalo <laughs> chicken. I'm going to take a novelty here. There's plenty of other ingredients. I'm going to th- This is only the third meat, I believe. No, fourth meat after bacon. It's still novelty in the same way bacon is, but buffalo chicken pizza is a thing. Uh, uh, flavored chicken that's kind of shredded or whatever. Demos does it. You see a slice of buffalo chicken, you're like, ooh, I'll do that. I like a buffalo chicken pizza. It's not a heavy hitter. We're in the fifth round. Buffalo chicken. Chief, thoughts? That's fine. Yeah, it's just like when I'm thinking pizza, I don't order. Yeah. Right. Will's licking yeah. his chops. What I mean, we, we talked a lot of shit about uh, California Pizza Kitchen earlier, and I feel like when I think of California Pizza Chicken, it's That's like it? shit like this. Yeah. yeah. Will, what do you got? Hey, it's um, he was saying it in his description, but it's always appealing. However, it's never that good. Like it always looks buffalo chicken. Like in the when you're window shopping, dude, buffalo chicken pizzas look awesome. But you try them, and they're very under like. Very underwhelming. Um, Sounds better than they I mean, taste. Overall, not not a great pick. Like you, you choose buffalo chicken that's going on one pizza. Like some of these other toppings, like there's versatility, there's range with the buffalo chicken. You're 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 dying on the hill of a buffalo chicken pizza, which I think is is not is very average. Yeah, I mean, there's other plays here. I thought about meatball, but meatballs don't. You know, like little mini meatballs don't really play with me. I like prosciutto, but if, I'm not gonna take prosciutto without arugula. So if there's a criticism I have for myself, maybe mushroom too. If I want to bump arugula down, doing arugula prosciutto, I love an arugula prosciutto pizza. But I love arugula too. It's just uh, would you like really a nice buffalo well. chicken mushroom? See, the problem I have with this is now people are going to like look at it and be like, yeah. "Oh, mushroom with buffalo chicken." Yeah, it, that's not the combination. Yeah, it's not. So if you're listening. people are going to look at that, people are just going to see you drafting mushroom. 
um, very high, and that's where you're going to get the criticism. Listen, buddy, on a supreme pizza, you're going to get sausage, mushroom, onion, green pepper, and it's obviously sausage one, and then right underneath that, it's mu- it's it's mushroom. That's what makes it the supreme. That's why it's a wonderful ingredient. It's irreplaceable. The texture, you like it too. You're just talking shit to me about something you like, and I appreciate that. Well, thank you. What's great? You could have got mushroom just right now. You could have literally dropped a mushroom right now and took something better uh, with that mushroom pick that you had, because mushroom would have been there for you. Mm-hmm. You could also play football in Iowa. So, would that have I'm ever happened no against Iowa? Yeah, would that I'm have ever happened no against Iowa? No, it wouldn't have ever happened because you're a Nebraska guy and I'm a mushroom guy, and you got to fucking respect that. That's fine. Hey, we'll, we'll let we'll let the people decide, like we always do. All right, Mr. Irrelevant, it's to me. I need a style. Um, I'm not going to take the one we just talked about because I fucking hate it, actually. What? I'm not it. a Neapolitan guy. Okay. At all. Oh, I, d- I think they're good. But. I think you've had one, you had them all. That's agree- not the style at all. I agree with Port Nice. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. I think they're, 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 it's just like flaky. It's light. I don't know. It doesn't know what it wants to be, in, it, my, in, yeah. in my opinion. Limp dick. I don't like it. I like it. I'm out of yeah. Neapolitan. There's a. I'm Very not style here that'll win it for you. Number twenty-five. I'm taking uh, Sicilian. I'm taking. I like a Sicilian. What? What do you mean? What would win it for me? Do you want me to say it? Sure. Detroit. Oh I mean, fuck! How the fuck? Yeah. Did I, I didn't know that. Did you forget Detroit style, about. bro? I don't know. Now I will say that I did forget about Detroit. I, I do think. Taken. I know. I do think Sicilian and Detroit. They're very similar. similar. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm cool with it actually. Yeah. That's what I was gonna ask when he said Sicilian. I was gonna be like, is that like Detroit? Because I think Detroit's a Detroit's and fire. And Detroit is fucking I shouldn't have said gas. that. I don't want to do that. So, I'm sorry. No, it's. You did it twice with Jets, but it's it's my fault. I just forgot Detroit. That's on me. I like Detroit. I had a fun time. Detroit's in great. Um, but Sicilian's big on the East Coast anyways, though, so that'll play there. Um, there there's a, And it's very similar. Yeah, it's, it's very, very similar. similar. There's a Detroit-style place Fuck. on Western Avenue that I feel like I want to shout out because it's fucking awesome. And it's, oh, man, I always it's, get the pizza, happy pizza. Why does Detroit do pepperoni better than everybody else? Their know. cups are, are a little know. thicker, a little smaller. How the fuck did I see? Yeah, that? I had it. On you know what I'm saying? Well, it, it'll kind of curl just a little bit. I love a curl on the Detroit pizza. Oh, I like a little curl too, bro. Do they Damn. put the sauce on top too? Is it like pizza yeah. friendly pizza? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. Uh, but if you get like a grandma slice too for of Sicilian, I don't. I think it's the same thing. Very strong. Yeah, Sicilian's Our, good. You get a corner. Yeah. No, Sicilian's good, and yeah. I I think that's one of those things that like with Detroit style too. They cut them in the squares. They come in that pan, you know, like every single piece you're getting you're getting crust. So it's like a little bit of an upgrade on the Chicago, where it's like I need a little crust. Yeah. I like to hold the yeah. hold the slice in my hand, and when you get those middle slices in the Chicago style, I'm like ah. Same with Sicilian. Yeah, yeah Detroit, mm-hmm. you get yeah. like the the right. It's fine. I I probably should have went Detroit. I don't know why. I'd, I don't know. I They're so it similar. Not, but they are very similar. Sicilian cold is great, I like, too. Or, yeah. or room temp. You can't even call it cold because yeah. it'll, like, sit out when you go to some of the bakeries that have it. I hate when I do that. I But no. I hate the fact that I hate that you're in that spot, too. Do you want a... I uh, just completely missed it. Do you want another accident. Sicilian... Should have been have Another pizza history fact? What's that? That was, like, the first style. Sicilian? Sicilian because they would take the day-old dough and, like, try to repurpose it into something. And they would make a pizza out of the day, the bread that they couldn't make or sell the day before. They'd make that into a Sicilian. Hmm. So I was like, the OG style of pizza was Sicilian. All right, so I'll run through it all one more time. We'll do honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Will's probably like, I'm fucking tired of these dudes. <laughs> 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 no. He's got I'm like three hours time. left, I'm, I think. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like playing all the different <laughs> scenarios in my head. Like, oh, I could have maybe done a, had a better pick here. They had some good shock factor on these picks. <laughs> so, so I'm will, putting some scenarios in my head. I'm already, I'm already watching. I'm already checking the tape. Will is uh, New York style bacon, Domino's, pineapple, Tony's, White Sox, Dave, Chicago style thin crust, Little Caesars, roasted bell peppers, Jack's hot jardinera, uh, Chief New Haven style onions, Sabaro, Lou Malnati's frozen, fresh basil, uh, Carl Homer in, mushrooms, deep dish, Jets pizza, buffalo chicken, Eddie pepperoni, sausage, tombstone, Papa John's, Sicilian. Can I make uh, a prediction? Yeah, Dave's back on the poll this week. I think that's a strong draft for Dave. But people hate people shit on Chicago thin crust. The people that's like a very popular thing to do. 
They shit on they shit on they shit on deep never dish had more. It. Yeah, they shit yeah. on deep dish. Oh, it's lasagna. But what? But shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you cunt. You cunt. DiGiorno, Pete DiGiorno fam is gonna be after us hard. One bite. I don't okay. like DiGiorno. Yeah, what about, one what about bite. the one bite people? One bite. Anybody? Walmart. If if any of the drafted frozen pizzas were sitting side by side with DiGiorno, I'm taking those a hundred percent of the time. You ever have Newman's Own? Newman's Own. I remember that. It is, the, yeah, yeah. I heard it. It looked good. It's not a bad frozen. I'll say this. So I worked at Lou Malnati's in college for like a year. <clears throat> I was a server there, and that's part of the reason I don't like Lou Mal's all that much anymore. Is because you that's fair. quote unquote see how the sausage is made. Yep. And but the one pizza that I would order to this day, it was called the Lou. It was it was sliced tomatoes. So they would put it like sliced tomatoes flat on the pizza, spinach, and then I think onions and green peppers maybe. But it was fucking fantastic. Spinach and was on my board. I never in a million years thought I'd like spinach and sliced tomatoes on a pizza, and it was Love it. awesome. It's a great combo. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, obviously, tough luck for Pizza Hut. I don't think it's that good. I was yeah, gonna. But I, I think that's what it is, bro. Like I, I just don't think Pizza Hut's. I don't I like think Pizza, Pizza Hut's Hut. up there. But. Here's one thing that I had on my board that I didn't want to get into an argument over because I know it would have been vetoed. I think it would have been vetoed. But I was thinking about drafting Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I think that would have been fine. No, I think it would have been fine too. Yeah, fuck right. It. I haven't Chuck had it Cheese in like twenty years though. Their pizza was fucking fire. I remember that's yeah. the only yeah. part I liked about it going there as kids. Do you remember during, they, like, they did the ghost kitchen during COVID and it was Pasquale. Like, so then someone was like, uh, that became a thing. Like, did you hear that they were doing and people didn't know that it was Chuck E. Cheese, cheese pizza. pizza. That's and amazing. So that became a thing. And then someone was like, it's actually not too bad if you haven't had it. So I went to a Chuck E. Cheese, Same. picked it up, ate it in the parking lot and was like, this is actually, it's uh, not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Security came up. They're like, you can't, you can't eat. I had the pizza <laughs> on the hood. And I was just sitting there eating a pizza in the, at Clybourne. They were like, you got to get out of here. I, like, I would have been like, fuck no, I'm eating the pizza, eat here. pizza here. I uh, suspicious. A guy like me looks like me yeah, in an empty no parking question. lot outside yeah, no of Chuck E. Cheese. Cheese with a pizza. Like, what, am I trying to get kids to come out like, hey, you want a slice of pie? Like, yeah. get this guy out of here. Yeah, that's fair, actually. <laughs> Very draftable Were you pizza, driving a van? I, see, I didn't, because it's <laughs> su- 2015 ah, Subaru Legacy, like, just fits, just creepy enough. The the yeah. right amount of uh, of we trust this guy we don't trust this guy. <laughs> yeah he might be a dad <laughs> with a Subaru yeah. might yeah. be or I could be a, a fuel efficient creep <laughs> You're right those, trying those, to set those, off Amber <laughs> Alerts who values safety and, and resale value I think Subaru it's a not good a car. Tesla but it's a good car it's a good car all right CCs. You got CC's just for you know the, the, the child in me. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Monocles CC's is incredible, but it, like that doesn't get delivered, right? No, no, no. Pizza Ranch. That's the problem. Like I love CC's. That is the child in me too. Mm-hmm. I'm glad no one but, took Blaze. Uh, doesn't get delivered. Yeah, fuck Blaze. Fuck that Res- place. I've wait, had did Rosati's get drafted? Rosati's had over two hundred. Tane eats Blaze uh, multiple times a week. I show Rosati's at one fifty, so that's why. I Car- googled how many Rosati's locations is set over two hundred. And then I had garlic and jalapeno. That's that was going to be my other uh, vegetable, or I guess kind of vegetable. It was roasted garlic. Mm-hmm. Garlics. Yeah. I love garlic. Yeah. I love garlic on everything. I'm surprised jalapenos didn't get picked up. Yep. Me too. That's in Jardiner. Basil uh, jumped off the page out over that. <laughs> Will you really like black I, olives? I'm not or a big jalapeno guy. I hate black. I olives. hate black olives too. What's up? Black olives. So I hate I hate black olives. However, I will keep it on I will keep it on a supreme just to like let allow that. You know, alpha in me to come out that you leave the black olives on. You know how some people pick them off. Oh, there's no, nothing weaker than picking yeah. toppings off of a pizza, sitting there like um, pulling away. Yeah. Just eat You're the a pizza. bitch. Even if you don't like it, like you just yeah. gotta do it. Yeah, you just gotta. An ingredient I had, I don't know if this would have uh, been vetoed or played. However, it's it's on a lot of my pizzas and it's hot honey. Ooh. So they're starting to do that out here. Did you go with me? I've been there before. So my know. my buddy's cousin just opened up a pizza joint in here, and it's but a that's Detroit style. That's a chain, though. That that Mike's Hot Honey. It's a it's no. A, I know that, yeah. but he's using Mike's Hot Honey on a lot of his pizza recipes. And he the yes. first time I ever tried it was when we went to his new place, and I was like, "This is fucking fire!" It was Bro, awesome. So a lot of like uh, pizzas that my wife and I get will be like pepperoni, jalapeno. And hot honey. Yep. And from those like three ingredients, sometimes there might be bacon added on, depending on where you get it from with that combination. Or like red onion might be on with that combination. But dude, pepperoni, jalapeno, and hot honey. Holy shit. Sounds awesome. 
Good stuff. Um, all right, then, boys. Anything yeah. else? One little nostalgia pick. I don't even know if they're still around. Do you get? Do you guys have Bertucci's growing up? They would like when you were. I remember this was a. It was at my grandparents. And it was definitely a chain. But they would give like all the kids like a big ball of dough. So then when you were at the table like waiting oh. for it's a chain like kind of sit down place and you would just like fuck around and like toss a dough in the air like try to make like your own crust. I always like that. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Well, you're the best. Thank you. Glad this we was a lot of fun, boys. I'm I glad we I didn't ruin your more. vacation this time. No, um, but I do hope I can do more. I'm trying to come in studio yes. and do one of these things. I would love that. Yes, we need that. What's any big news with Boston and the boys season coming up or what should we keep our eyes peeled for? Uh, we're going to Green Bay this week. You guys already know that. I think we talked about it pre-show. Uh, so we'll get some good interviews. I think Lafleur is coming on the bus, Aaron Rodgers and David Bakhtiari. So those will be nice. big for us. We're going to tow the bus to um, the North Dakota at Nebraska game on uh, September 3rd. Then we're going to go to Florida at Tennessee on the 24th. Woo. Can you get the um, bus to Ireland for Nebraska Northwestern? <laughs> no, no. It's like now, one of those we Boston duck boats. Yeah. Going there. And then uh, we're going to Clemson at Notre Dame. I think that's on the 5th. I'll and then we got there. the bus and bowl, Nebraska and Michigan on November 12th. Awesome. I'll, I'll meet you at the Notre Dame game. You guys were nice okay. to my boy, Michael Mayer. Yes, bro. He's a stud, man. Stud. Good dude. Yeah. And he's about it. Like, he's one of the boys. Like, he'll get out and say what – like, he's, Big time. he's all about the banter. Yeah, yeah, Dave and I met him. We we went and did, like, a little stadium tour, locker room tour, and he, like, just popped out. And he was like, oh, yeah, like, I love Barstool. And, he, and like, yeah. shook, it, shook his hand and his – you probably didn't have this problem because you're also a big-time athlete. But, like, his fingers went up to, like, my forearm. Like, just shaking yeah, his hand. He's still a big fucking swallowed my like, hand. You know. Yeah. And he's such an aw shucks, nice dude. Yeah. Like oh yeah, hey he's, yeah. he's so Notre Dame. He's like, he's like the most Notre Dame kid ever. I love it. Well, congrats yeah. on the retirement, Will. Did he just hang up after that comment. No, no, no. Oh. My, uh, the low. The, oh, we've been on this thing so much. My low battery just popped. Up. Okay. Oh, hey, Carl, what did you say? I said congrats on the retirement. Is it like official? No, no, sir. Year ten, we're still chugging. You never know what kind of call could happen. Fuck December, yeah, bro. let's go. I'd well, let's get well, it. That's my guy. Well, all, well, you know, hey, Roquan Smith is currently holding out. Let's get Ryan Poles on the phone, see if we can get you a job here in Chicago. We'd love to help. Uh, we need linebacker, linebacker depth. Linebacker room with, hey, Roquan is a dog, bro. Fuck yeah. Very yeah. underrated. Oh, yeah. Slept on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Stephen Che had him 99th overall. Fuck, Fuck that, that guy. That guy's yeah. a moron. Bullshit. God. <laughs> Such a doofus. How how cringy is it watching him out in Tampa right now? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I love it, though. He's so funny to me. I, 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 I love yeah, it. We'll get you in a couple weeks for a red line. We'll do a little Bears preview or ask you some stuff about it. It'll be great. Okay. Sounds good. I'm in. Yeah, awesome. just all the inside scoops from your trip up <laughs> to Green Bay. That would only yeah. take yeah. you like 10, exactly. 15 minutes, not yeah. four fucking hours. <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah. buddy. laughs> Thank you, Will. Right, Thanks, man. Will. Later, Will. All right, everybody. That's it. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow.